and welcome to my Halloween stream. The Halloween Spooktober Other Puns Game of the Night. This is Total Chaos, Director's Cut. This, of all things, is a total conversion of Doom. Developed into a full-fledged game with a visual style that makes you think that it is not Doom whatsoever. It's kind of amazing, actually. This game released some time ago, but the director's cut is much more recent and polishes up a number of things. Let us begin. Ungulf. I think there might be a category for Total Chaos, but feel free to change the Doom if not. I could handle it. I had already gone through much worse. At the end of the day, I still had me. I knew who I was. April of 1972 was when it all began. I was working at a co as a Coast Guard. I received a, I received a distress call from a damaged offshore boat. After packing my belongings, I left to attempt a rescue. A great storm approached. My boat became damaged and stranded me at sea. I lay on the deck of my boat, waiting for rescue, but nobody came. When I woke, I had arrived at an island. Tall concrete structures as far as the eye can see. I had been here before. Both Fort Oasis. A mining community once resided here. However, the place appears to be completely abandoned. Something terrible has happened here. My boat was heavily damaged by the storm. After a day, I had managed to repair most of the damage. It's pretty impressive. Heavily damaged. One day fixed. However, it seems that someone is attempting to contact me. My radio has been receiving strange signals. Whoever it is, they want to be found. Chapter 1, Arrival. Just a moment. Much better. A minor change for myself. Now, as I stated before, this was actually made in the Doom Engine. You wouldn't think it. But it's true. Oh! Doom 2, I believe. Either Doom 1 or Doom 2. I'm not sure which. I've kind of forgot. Regardless, they ran on basically a similar, a very similar engine, so tit for tat, really. Doom 2, then. Yes. Yes, this is a Doom 2 total conversion that, if I max the settings, even this new grand computer that is much more powerful than my old hardware, even this computer struggles. Granted, you don't need max settings for it to look good, so it doesn't really matter, but... In fact, the max settings are kind of ridiculous. Regardless of there being max settings or not, you'll still see pixelation on such as decals like this. So it doesn't really matter. You're getting the same experience regardless. Well, oh, sewer. Let's go in. Or drainage pipe. There is no other way. Now, I have not played this. 
I've only played this very beginning section to make sure everything was running good. Besides that, I have no idea what's going on. I need, okay. Wait, hold on. Oh, great. Anybody remember the code I gave her? <laughs> that is not going to work there. Let's see. I'm quite impressed with the Doom engine can pull off. Doom 2 engine, I should be specific, but... Like, with enough, with enough modification, right? Oh yeah, by the way, my sprint is more like a combat roll. It's interesting. It doesn't let you just sprint forever, it just gives you a nice burst of speed. We do have stamina meter and health down the lower left. It's very understated. I know it's a very small HUD element. That's just kind of how it is. This is Doom in Yeah, this is definitely Doom 2. This is a total conversion that is free to play, actually. You can go grab it yourself. I think it's on Mod DB. This is not Doom 2. It is. It's the Doom 2 engine. It's been heavily modified, but it's the Doom 2 engine. You got it wrong by the by. They those ain't your only concern. Don't what? Well, I think it would be obvious looking at it that this is not just base Doom 2 engine. It's definitely been modified. But it's still the Doom 2 engine, regardless. Not you, Charm. Oh, okay. They're gone. They're all gone. My paradise. Something has taken it over. It's isolation. It's killing me. Okay. J for journals. What's this? That's a key. Now, we do have an inventory. Health, stamina, radiation, hunger, and bleed. Alright. Things we have to concern ourselves with. Hunger? I actually didn't notice that. But here's our weapon, armor, combined items, inventory, throwable and quick slots, and a weight limit. <clears throat> There's a few mechanics here. I'm sorry, Beerus. I know that you really wanted that to be... Oops. Let's see, do we equip it, perhaps? Perhaps it's for the other door. It might be for the other door. I'm going to assume keys use automatically, so let's go to the other door we found. Well, actually, that other door was locked with a padlock. They auto-use, okay. Maybe we open this, there we are. Inventory. Use medical to hear yourself, manage to stop bleeding out. Got it, got it. Let's play medkit Stimpak. Causes bleeding! Stimpak causes bleeding! Okay, well, good to know. <laughs> Might want to avoid using that too much. <laughs> You ever just inject yourself with a needle and then you start spurting, oh god, blood everywhere? Yep. Rotten apple. Well, it's edible. Pride stab boost and Laura's hunger. Guess it doesn't hurt us. Good old mushy trash heap apples, my favorite. Keep an eye out. It looks like items, they do glow, but you kind of have to be looking at them, so. I don't think we can do that jump. Nah. It's over here. Oof. Door. Possibly a door I can go through. Combat. Primary attack swings, okay, so for, primary attack swings a weapon can be used in three a combo. I can attack charges the attack cost stamina. Okay. Wait, hold on. Alright. Alright, 
I'm assuming the right click for the other. Yeah. Wait, how do you? Oh, I see. Right, and then left click the swing. Okay, got it. Vodka. Good. Is this door usable? Oh, it is. Okay, so there's two direct. Oh, do I have a map? Not yet, at least. No crates have things, but combat's not a concern. Oh, okay. So break the crates. Got it. Wasn't sure if those are just. They look like set dressing, so that actually is useful information. Wait a minute. Ah, I was right. There is durability. <laughs> well, I still got the head of it. <laughs> Alright, good to know. And I can't. By the way, I don't. Uh, seem to have an unarmed attack. So. Oh, good. Rotten bread. Looks somewhere like a sandwich, but okay. Get to know what works. You need to make your weapons. Be nice if there was a way to break crates without having to use a weapon on. Rotten meat. Looks to be toxic. Causes radiation damage. Lowers health. Alright, so that that is not... Unlike the apple, that actually hurts you. Okay. I mean, kind of makes sense. Alright, that was the one. Though, right? Okay, what's over here? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna keep going. There was another direction, but I'll worry about it later. By the way, Epic, don't backseat too much, okay? I mean, ask, answering a few questions is good, but since you play this game, don't be like, oh, don't worry, you're not gonna find anything right now. Like, that kind of kills the, the scares, you realize that, right? So stab affects ability to dodge and use weapons, radiation affects, inflicts damage, yeah, makes sense. Hunger, five food to prevent starvation, has an effect with stamina. Okay, so hunger doesn't kill you. Bleed, keep bandage up to prevent B. Okay, yeah. Can you view status? Alright. Ah, see, so you can just quickly. That's good to know. Because I should be poking around the corners and stuff. It is indeed, there's a phone. Wonder what happened. You know what? I'm I'm legitimately curious. Like I'm supposed to be going this direction, right? But there was definitely another direction I could have gone. Color me curious. I I want to know what happens if I go that way. It'll only take a second. It was uh, where was it? Pull sticks. <laughs> yeah, here. Cigarettes. Laura's health. Wait, Laura's health. Laura's hunger. What? Cigarettes. Laura hunger. News to me. I was actually rushing through here, but I just realized this is actually the area I was talking about. Whoops. Oh, there's stuff here. Definitely a lot of crates. I wish I could break, but uh, can't do so right now. Yeah, like I said, you. I don't consider the sprint key to be a sprint. I consider it to be a combat roll forward. Because that makes more sense for the animation. Nicotine reduces appetite. Oh. I forgot about that. Also, hi Kyle Zoe. We're having a good spook. A uh, good spooktober. Uh. This seems like a bad idea. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I'll wait. <laughs> Like, I could probably kind of bumble through, but I don't think that's the smartest idea. At least not until I get a flashlight. Which I assume I'll find over here. And I'm doing pretty well, Jason. Those of you that are coming later should note that uh, this stream started with quite the video, which is now up on YouTube if you missed it. 
Thank you everyone for coming by, by the way. We have quite a few viewers. We lost a number of them after the video, but that's alright. Still have quite a lot more than... No, that's a drop. Okay. Normal. Whoever is calling me is very patient. But as we all know, whenever a horror game phone is ringing, I always take my time answering it. I really want to make them... I want to make them sweat. I think they missed... got the wrong number or something. It's more entertaining that way. Well, it's gelled off anyways, so I guess that's fine. Will there be a loop of the last part? Later. Since there is interest in that, I can do that. But it'll, you'll have to give me a, bit of, a little bit of editing time to get that together. It's a seven days girl. Seven days girl? What might that be? Hey, stop dumping race, that's dangerous. Oh, sh hello. Hopeless. I mean, as long as I have a weapon, I guess that- As long as I don't have a weapon, I guess that's true. Some, some of these locks- Some of these gates just can't be interacted with, I notice. It's not even that it's locked, it's just that I don't think it works. Sorry? Needs a key. Okay. It's a weird kind of lock on a lever, but alright. Hmm. Alright. This will be a sign heavily. Still, I'm just looking. I'm just bumbling around looking for weapons right now. <laughs> I guess I need to pull that. Hold on. So that's the, okay. We're back where we started. All right. That's also locked. These levers are more locked up than anything else. <laughs> Alright, um, hmm. Okay, I guess I'll go to... Locked as well! Hmm? Alright, then I'm, I'm at a loss here. <laughs> it's really dark for anyone should I turn my brightness. It's not that dark, it's just about right, I'd say. I can also see the stream feed. I don't see any problems there. This place is too base like for my taste. I'm getting lost. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright, hold on. So. That's where I came from, right? Actually, I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it's where I came. So many locked levers! Also, I can't legitimately tell now. Why me? Unfair. Yeah, all these locked levers, very unfair. Alright, so... I'm a bit I lost what to do here. I guess I'll go over here, because this might be a new area. Oh, I guess so. Here we go. Needs a key. Got a key. Shut up. How many times do I have to tell you about door 237? Because of your stupidity, when we tried to open the security gate, the entire block's grid went offline again. Until you get the wire, until you get the wiring fixed, we have to save all companies to open the door. You can't even do your job right. If this incompetence continues, you'll be asked to leave. I will not hand out another warning about this. Okay. Well, I know. I already know where the whoa sticks out awkwardly. All right. I know where all the levers are, so I guess I'll start. Like, there's five or something? Yeah, there's six, okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. No, 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 don't get me cornered. Wherever you are. Oh, hello. <laughs> 
He's kind of a fast boy. That's, that's problematic. <laughs> That's a dead end. Oh. Ah, this is spotted, mate. He does seem to have awareness, though. As in... Not great. Now to find the one I missed. Nope. I wanted him over here. I think, uh, this one? Yeah, there we go. I think if they're a bottle or something. Or, like, throw something. The problem is, I don't know what that actually did. Uh oh. Oops. He's not that fast. It's not too bad. He also seems to get confused easily. They throw things. They throw vodka bottles. Now what? Guess I'll go back? Also, this place is quite confusing. Should have found me. But I still hear him. Oh god, not him! Oh god, okay. I heard different guys. Uh 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 oh it oh god. Then I realized this is a running scene. Oh this is butter here. Oh hi! Okay, I get it, I think. No, come on guys, come on, shamble over here. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Oh god, you're... Oh, no, 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 <laughs> this is rude. It's actually pretty fucking hard. Can I get another weapon, maybe? Uh, oh, thank god, <laughs> closed. Ow, I'm half dead. Oh wait, I'm bleeding. Oh, we should fix that. Something we have both desired for a long Use. time. There we go. Your presence in this place means you are willing to do what I ask of you. Right. Is that if how that works? If you follow my requests, then I will take you to what it is you desire. Oh, I see. So I can... There. That's better. Let me lower my hunger a bit. <laughs> Radiation damage, is that bad? They all do radi- I don't know how much it is, though. Hmm. I think lower radiation probably is fine. Lower is damage caused by radiation. Oh, that hurts me, though. Hmm. One radiation doesn't hurt you. I'll keep this in mind. Wood glues to repair heavy-duty tools or structures can be combined with- Wooden axe handle, blah, 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 really? Okay, sure. Let's see what this does. Oh, I need a wooden handle. Right, that would make sense. Um, so I need to find a wooden handle still, too. i use a flare as a handle. It's kind of a handle. Alright, so... You might see why I wanted to take combat off the table. No, I mean, I don't I don't see what you're trying to talk. I don't actually understand what you're trying to indicate by that, actually. A flare? Okay. How about I didn't just miss the wooden handle? Could use it. Oh. Common rags. Worn by the locals of Fort Oasis. 20% damage protection. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take, I'll take leather armor. I'll get the diamond eventually. Hmm. 
Your weapon would have broken even before killing one. Ah, I see. Well, yeah. I, I thought there was a durability meter. Like, when I first got the axe, I noticed there was, like, a little red bar, and I thought, is that a durability meter? But I couldn't quite tell. I thought the game, I thought the description on the axe would tell me the durability in a number, but it didn't, so I was confused. But then it broke, and I was like, yeah, okay. Because in that case, it didn't really have that much bar, so it was just a sliver. Makes sense it broke so fast. A fresh one would probably last longer, a lot longer, I'd imagine. Also, those enemies, not exactly fast or smart, but they sure fucking hurt. Especially when they swarm you. Oh, okay, now I'm part of the problem, huh? Alright. Can I get a weapon first? I, what, really, what really makes me sad is how many crates I've been passing that I can't break because I don't have a weapon. Okay, that's forward prog. What's the other way? I want to break and get shit. But I can't. I need a we- oh. Sometimes it's good to backtrack just because you'll look at things at a different angle and find items. Like that can, for instance. I got a Pepsi. Which is appropriate because I've also got a Pepsi here. Alright. You're getting hungry. I am, probably. I mean, I could consume things that'll hurt me, which sounds really great. But I guess I'll just do it. Why not? Wait, that makes me hungry. Whoops. Never mind. I thought it made me... Wait, what? Lowers hunger. No, hung lowering hunger is good. Right, I get it now. Wait, this lowers damage conservation, but lowers health. Huh. I don't understand, but alright. I wonder how radiation damage stacks exactly. Like, if I have two ticks of rage, do I take one damage every two minutes, or how does it work? I don't know. Also, I should try to remember, because uh, I always forget the key for this. Uh, do, 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 do. By the way, if you look at the keys, if you look at the graphics of the keys, you can tell that it's Doom. So, if you're skeptical about whether or not this is Doom, that kind of shows it right there. Um... Quick slot one, two, three, four. Okay, but how do I save though? I'm trying to figure out a quick slot, quick, uh, quick, quick load, quick save. I'm trying to remember what keys those are. Whatever, I'll just save it initially like this. There's auto saves, so. Hold your tongue. I'll be fine. I'm generally a lot more direct if I absolutely need an answer. Actually, wait, no. Go ahead and tell me how radiation works. That's that's just general advice. How would I just pick up? Oh, those were sandwiches of meat. That was pretty big chunks. Uh, John Thomas, M.D. Mr. Somebody or other. Prescription Prozac 20 milligram tablets. Treatment for panic attacks. Take one tablet per day. Okay. Sure. Good, good medical knowledge. Ooh, can I open these lockers? No. They are uninteractable. As radiation builds, DPS on you increases. So the deep. So I will be taking DPS just over time. It seems like a damned if you do, a damned if you don't. I can I can fix my health by increasing my radiation, but then I'm taking health damage again. So it kind of sucks. Yeah, I think Blame because of, like I can I can heal myself in the short term by causing the damage to myself in the long term, which isn't really a good trade-off in my book. <laughs> Obviously, there's probably going to be health methods like this. Stimpak's fine. It causes bleeding, but, you know, then you kill from it. Also, wait. Uh, oh. 
Sure, why not? Or how long that lasts. So I'll find out. That looks like a friendly chasm to dive into, but hold on. My character yawns. Alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm very bored about this horrific situation I'm into. Ooh, stuff. I mean, it's all rotten, but stuff. It's fine. Rotten apples seem to be honestly pretty safe to eat, so... I can get a few more of those. Dr. Thomas, I'm not sure if the medication is proving to be effective. The symptoms are not going away. The brain shivers alone are becoming unbearable. What the hell's a brain shiver? Please, can I be prescribed something else? Why would it be so... Would it be so bad if I went off the medication and stuck with therapy instead? Hmm. My, my character is just so bored. That is a one huge-ass toilet. Holy shit. It's a gaping maw of a toilet. What the hell? Not, this one isn't, though. Okay, maybe it was if it wasn't broken. <laughs> Snickers. I stickered at Snickers. I can't just... I can't bunny hop through the window if you're wondering. That's not a, that's not how this works. Have I gotten a handle yet? I've not gotten a handle on the situation. God damn it! I can't just you know I probably should just use a medical kit. They seem to be, well, the proper healing item. With deep combat, you can dodge enemy attacks or evade. Press move key and shift to dodge it. You know, that would have been useful before the chase scene, but I kind of figured that out. Like, since it is basically a combat roll, it would let me dodge attacks. Okay, so that's forward progress. All right. I'm going to save, but I'm really curious. Also, if there is a quick save, quick load key, please tell me what the fuck it is. What's in here? I think I'm lost. Oh, I have a flare, that's right. Oh shit, that's right, I forgot, I have flares. Hey. This feels like a great place to be. I'm trying to hurry, because I don't know how long the... Oh, it goes to the, the kitchen, okay, cool. I mean, I'll take all this stuff, why not? Oh wait, well, wait, wait might be a reason why not, but for now, I'll pick everything up. Oh god damn it, I have to go back through now. I guess I'll use my other one of the other flares. Not because it's spooky, but because I don't know how to get back. Oh god, what the fuck? Okay. Oh god, I can't move. What? Let me move. Let me Why am I stuck? He spit me into the wall, I think. How rude. Oh no, you actually stunned me. Wow, that's really not cool. I'm going to go over here. Thank god you can't crouch. Holy crap. You know what? I'm gonna actually just reload that because holy shit. <laughs> Apparently their spit makes you stop. Also, I was curious. I was suspicious of that. Wait, what the fuck? Hold on. Wait a minute. Crap if I'm wrong here, but... Wait, I had three flares, now I have two. What? Okay, let's do this all in one flare. <laughs> It, it, the game ate one of my flares between loads. Cool. Oh, fuck. I'm fine. Whee! I'm good. Yeah, I'll take one hit, whatever. Am I bleeding? No. Good. Fortunately, spit doesn't make you bleed, it just makes you stop. They sound very upset. Oh, I missed a couple. Whatever. Whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll pass up the meat. Oh, hello. Are you the chef? Hey, that's rude. Hey, stop that, stop that. Sheesh. Can you make some gumbo for me? I don't... 
You know what? It's fine. I don't mind missing out on a bit of raw meat. It's not really that appetizing. However, this this is... Whoa, wait a minute. CTSM injection. Permanently increases the max threshold of stamina. Oh. Sounds worth just eating, I suppose. Cool. I mean, it's permanent, so I'll just eat it. All right, that was worth, uh, that was worth going to... The okay, I got the important item for the kitchen. That's what matters. You saved after getting the food, except for I didn't, which is weird. I think the flare just made... I think I just lost a flare somehow. I don't really get it either. Or maybe I activated the flare, saved the game, loaded the game, the flare effect ended. That's probably what happened. Maybe I saved after activating the flare, but then when I reloaded, the flare's light wasn't there anymore. So I basically wasted a flare. I think that's what happened. You flared a flare in the kitchen. Oh, okay, well. Regardless, this is fine. Oh, wait, I do have two flares. You're right! Oh, a flare to get back. That makes sense. So, uh, is there a quick save again? Because I really hate breaking the flow just to save like that. I don't see a quick save, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was one. I mean, there's a quick slot. I don't know what that means. Does anybody know what the Doom's quick save key is normally? I think this is something I'm supposed to just know. Doom 2 quick save, quick load. That was like F7 or something. No, I don't want to end the game. Probably should just randomly press buttons. Quick slot, yes, quick slot. Oh, oh, one, two, three, four, five for quick slot. I get it. I understand. F5? F5 brings me the display options. I could have sworn that Doom had a quick save, quick load. Or at least the option to enable it somewhere. Wait, hold on. Maybe that's the problem. Then again, this is a total conversion, so who who the fuck knows at this point? It doesn't look like this thing has a quick save, quick quick load. Quick slot is different for quick save, quick load. All right. Maybe I'm just spoiled. All right. Um. Why does it sound like there's multiple? Okay. Right, where am I going, though? I guess this way? Yeah, that seems right. What this? Man, the hunger's gonna be a real pain in the ass. I can tell right now. Is that, is that actually lowering the hunger? Oh, I'm splitting the stacks. What the hell? What the f Okay, my interact keys are doing weird things all of a sudden. I don't really understand. Okay, double click. That's better. Right click does weird things. It either splits stacks or drops items, and it confused me for a bit. Alright, um... Like, I didn't realize it was doing two different things. Keep in mind, this is a 24-year-old engine. It's a very useful feature for around yet. I feel like the quick... I know I play Doom mods that have quick saves, so... Which is why I'm just kind of confused why this total conversion doesn't have a quick save option. Especially since it clearly is throwing me into situations where I could, could totally fucking die. Oh yeah. Like, like, like I was saying. Hi, you're electric. You know what? I'm gonna let you pounce me. So I'm gonna do a thing. Oh my god, you're so fast. Alright. Hold on. Sounds really close. Whoosh! That's a key. Porter key. I like port keys. Fortunately, enemies can lose track of you, it seems. Am I bleeding? Hopefully not. Whoop, 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 nope. Remember, they can just mad dash. So if, if I'm in a straight line to them, it's probably bad for me. Oh no. Whoosh! 
So I got a key. Shame I don't know where to use it. The problem, the main, the main stress here is that this game is every single area feels like a maze. So the game expects me to like remember where to go to use a key. Oh boy, I'm gonna have some trouble. Maybe I should. Dangerous situation, but maybe I should save. Okay. Maybe I should leave. That's the point. I know that's the point, but where the fuck does this key go? Excuse me. Why do I feel like there's more over here now? Oh, I guess I'm going the right direction. Ah! Oh god, I'm gonna get cornered. Um. I guess I have to shoot Juke from over here. Oh, are you kidding? Fucking bleed? Really? Alright. You know what? Fuck it. I probably should set some quick items, but eh. The reason I don't set the quick slots is because I'm always worried I'll bump and use items when I don't need to. I have totally done that in video games before, so. That's weird. I'm sure I lost track of that guy, but I'll take it. Right, so I think I was right about going through here. Hi, come here. Um. Oh, hi. Yeah, come on, come on over. There you go. There you go, come on over. There you go. Okay, bye. Seriously though, one, 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 these quarters where you can't cross through. Grab the fucking item, thank you. This is a dangerous situation. Locked. Locked, okay. Oh god, you can't, you got all the way here! Hello! Oh, come on. Oh well. Look, I get, I like the whole running away from shit and getting stuck in a corner because there's tight quarters. I really like to start fighting things at some point. I know it's supposed to be survival horror and all, but like, Survival's a little easier if I had a weapon. That's all I'm saying. I'm dying again, aren't I? Fuck's sake, this bleed effect. This game is definitely not pulling punches, and it's kind of irritating, actually. Definitely want to make sure the other guy doesn't follow me. He's kind of rushing past him. I don't know what that is, but I want it. No, 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 no. Um. Is there any reason to go in this room, or is it just to fuck me over? Probably the latter. Ah! Alright. Do I have a moment? Okay. You know what? Sure. Quick slot one will hold. Play medical kits from now on. Oh, okay, another max threshold step. Okay, cool. Oh, here's what's weird, right? Remember when I. You have to left click to eat, right? Or double click. That's the thing, like, I sometimes don't click fast enough and I just grab the item and then I get confused and I try to right click it and then I drop it. That's kind of how that goes, anyways. Um, okay! We're in the Silent Hill model fight where you have ammo as a weapon to just not have to fight your way up. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I prefer that. I prefer the, I prefer the fighting is not a good idea but I can still do it model. Not the I'm literally helpless, but like, even if I could just punch, I'd be okay. The fact that this guy was isn't even willing to put up his fists and like try to whack these things out of his way, even if it's low damage, I would be very appreciative if we could perform that action. The fact that this guy doesn't even know how to punch- I mean, like, if we could punch, we could also break crates and stuff. That's the other thing, it's like kind of- there's kind of an irritation, because we know that crates have items, right? But, since we can't even punch, there's no way to obtain those items. Bit of a shame. It's a bit of a cock tease. <laughs> um...
Oh no, a locked gate. How would I possibly get over there? No, I don't know. Maybe just step around? <laughs> Can't do it, though. I got the important key, so let me open this up. Scissors. Is this a weapon? Hey, good scissors. Cannot be repaired if broken. Does not deal a lot of damage. You know, it's fine, though. Seriously, though. It, look, if you're being attacked by monsters and you had no weapons, would you at least try to punch them? I feel like I would. That's not that durable. Okay, whatever. It sucks, but I'll take it. Like, I would punch them. Look, if I was cornered, especially if I was cornered by them, I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna try to whack him in the head to daze him at least. I don't know. They have heads. Give it a shot. Actually, with weapon durability in crates, you know what that means, right? This is really dumb, but technically, like, I just broke those crates. Now I should load because those crates had nothing in them. I should not break them. Wouldn't that be logical? <laughs> to, like, save, break a crate, didn't have an item, load. Did have an item, save again. Like, that's kind of how I would play <laughs> normally. Could it be RNG? I mean, we could test that, I guess. Here, let's break these two crates and see if they drop an item. If they never drop an item, then it's not RNG and it's static. But if they drop an item, then it's RNG. Okay. Try a third time. F F5 does display options, man. Good, good thought, but I already tried it. F6, like, ends the game. So... It is RNG. Well, that's good in a way. That means there's no unique items in these. Hmm. Okay, well, it's good to know about the RNG. Does that mean I shouldn't bother? Or should I bother? I mean, we could get medkits, maybe. Actually, we'll, we'll, actually, we'll hold on. So the max durability is right there. Okay. I'm just kind of keeping track of the durability. Let me break the crate. Oh my god! Wait, what's that? What is that? What is... What, what did I just get? Salami. Sure, why not? Can be combined with mobile gas cooker. Oh, can I cook it? But also, um... You can see my cursor. So, the, the durability started out right here. After breaking two crates, we lost that much. Oh my god. Yeah, it says it's low durability. It's not fucking kidding. It looks like it'll last, uh, maybe... It'll last maybe 20 hits. At most. Like, 20 swings of this hitting things, and it's gone. I kind of like Slami, but, uh, I think I'll just save the scissors for fighting. At least... Can I crate drop weapons? That's a good question. I mean, we can keep testing this. We have crates I can test this with, so... Let's... We've seen salami, we've seen the vodka. What else can we see out of these crates? Cans of meat? I'm not sure why the canned meats cause radiation damage. It's canned, should be a little bit more secure. Heavy attacks don't take more durability. Yeah, look at that. The scissors are close to halfway after breaking four. Alright, you know what? Let's try heavy attacks in the crates. If it breaks the crates in one hit, but only lowers durability by one, then uh, that might be good. Let's see. Let me, let me try the heavy attack. Let me... I don't think scissors have a heavy attack. This doesn't seem to be doing anything. Scissors are really cool. I love them. See, the reason we should be able to use fisticuffs is because in a game with a durability system, it's good to have a non-durable, durability-based weapon, even if it blows. At least that's what I think, you know? You should always be able to swing something. I know it's a horror game, but still. Either have the combat system or don't have it. Yeah, this is how I feel about horror. If you could, if you have it, but then you lose it... I mean, granted, we might find a lot more weapons later. But the game has been super stingy up until this point and thrown quite a bit of shit at me. We have seen... I don't think I've seen a horror game throw three different types... Completely different types of monsters at you. That literally can corner you in one block wide halls. I don't think I've seen a game do those two habits without even giving you a weapon. That's kind of impressive, actually. 
Because normally if an enemy can literally block your path, you should have some means of fighting out of your way. But no, I just have to kite, which, fair enough, but... There's a, difference, there's a difference between something being scary and something being frustrating, though, you know? That's what I'm talking. Right, I, I think I'm just gonna skip the crates. Never mind crates. I'm ignoring crates. At least until we get an ar arsenal of weapons, in which case I might care. We'll see. For now, though, scissors will only be for fighting. Oh, and immediately I get a... Oh, now the game's being there all generous. no use in dispatching them. You might as well leave them there to... ...fester. Love is not that durable. Well, at least it has a heavy attack, though. Okay, now the game's gonna be all like, Oh, you know what? You can fight things now. It's like, well, thanks. I've already gotten fucking knocked around a bit, but thanks. I can combine repairs. Yeah, okay. More glue. Okay. Give me everything I need to... Does it... Does it lower durability to hit objects that aren't crates and enemies? So, like, could I, like, test this painting? Because if it's just wacky this against the wall lowers durability, that'd be kind of disappointing. Seems to. God damn it. I just also the durability go down a bit. Or I can't even, like, test items then. Well, if I want to be frugal anyways. I do have wood glue, glue though, so I can now make... Um... Hmm. What do you think is better? I can buy the wood glue? The handle? And either the pickaxe or, or the hammerhead. It looks like a small hammer. I don't think it's a sledgehammer. You can make a pickaxe. Weapon is very durable. Does not deal a lot of da I don't care how much damage I deal. Durability is more important to me. Meanwhile, we can also make a hammer. Which is also very durable, apparently. I'm gonna assume the pickaxe is more durable. At least when it's not fucking, you know, nothing on its bar, anyways. Does more damage and can charge, unlike the other one. I'm gonna assume they. He forgot, obviously. Why didn't you save? Because. I didn't care about doing one single durability point of damage to test. That's why. Because if I save it literally every quarter, I'm going to completely kill the mood. That was an intentional decision. And I don't really consider it a major problem if I just do one attack. It wasn't very much, admittedly. Um, so anyways, the pickaxe head was missable, and this one, and the hammer head was just handed to me, so I'm assuming the pickaxe is a lot better. If broken, can be repaired with glue, wood glue and wooden handle, oh, which we have one of extra we have two glue if we find another wooden hand handle then i can make another one later if i lost that if i lost the glue for a second but this is apparently more durable all right i'm looking at the bar all right let's let's, let's see what you got yeah it is it barely moves okay cool if at all for that one hit nice all right cool we got my go i got a go-to weapon now now i feel I guess I could break crates. I feel like it would be smarter to... Can I, like, set multiple weapons, actually? Can I, like, quick slot weapons? Oh, I can. Good. You know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna put the... Bed kits on five. Lights on four. Um... Pipe on three. No. Pipe on two. Scissors on three. There we go. This is, I think the scissors are the shittiest ones, right? Anyways, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... I'm gonna oh, there's even a display. That's nice. So I'm gonna use the scissors and the pipe on crates. I'm gonna use the pickaxe on enemies. That's gonna be my procedure. So basically... Anything that is angry gets the pickaxe. Everything else gets the other two. <laughs> I think this is a good plan. <laughs> yeah. I won't backtrack for crates, but I will break ones I run into along the way. The 
it's, it does seem like you need to plan this shit out or you're gonna be in trouble. We see the enemies are quite dangerous, so... Being stuck without weapons is something I would like to try to avoid. T, glad you're able to return the contract to me. To us. How would you like to start next week? We have a lot of backed up work we need to get on top of. Last year was hectic, but 86 is looking to be worth worse. Glad to have you on board. 86? Wasn't that the year that the bite of 86? Wasn't that the bite of 86 year? Hmm. I think the worst thing here is, um, I need to remember to use Q, because if I'm bleeding, I don't fucking notice. Because the health bar is so small, and before you asked, hey Charm, why is the health bar so small? Why don't you scallop the HUD? I tried, you can't. At least from what I could tell. I try not to save too much. The game does auto-save, so if I don't save, it's I means we still have progress, but... Goodbye, car. Have a, have a good time with your spooky game. I hate durability too, though, like Hyper said. I'm not fond of it. So, headshot? <coughs> Fuck you. Let's see how long it takes to kill. Yeah, headshots need to work. <laughs> Asshole. And our durability is... Yeah, still pretty good. Yeah, this pickaxe will actually last a while, so that's good. Wow, the Doppler effect of this. Goes before my headphones. I don't know if it goes before my headphones for you guys. I might have the sound set the model for you guys. I, I can't remember. Come along. Oh fuck, I whiffed. <laughs> They're, they're actually kind of dangerous, man. Even the basic enemies. Oh wow, I lunged them. I'll take it. Uh, stop bleeding, stop bleeding, stop- Oh wait, hold on, actually. Keep bleeding, I don't care. Let me use this opportunity to eat the stim packs first. There we go. Look, if you're bleeding anyways, you may as well eat some- You might as well stab yourself with stim packs, is, is my logic. Um... Cause it makes sense, cause then you can just fix the bleeding afterwards. <laughs> um, do I want to take radiation damage to reduce my hunger? I don't know, man. Do I? Well, I guess I may as well. Oh, empty balls can be. Looks like I can make explosives or molotovs out of this. That's nice. Okay, good to know. You need to find the infinite burial really weapons. They aren't. They ain't hitting like the real fun stuff. I'm heavily. Well, I'm just gonna risk the radiation damage, I guess. I know I hurt myself taking that one, but it's worth it to lower hunger, I guess. I mean, what can I do, right? God, this game seems like it's gonna be hit hard. Um, I don't know what kind of radiation I don't want to pass. Like, what threshold of bars on radiation do I not want to pass? I wonder. Alright, so... The other... I probably should mostly avoid enemies, though. The guy did say to not fight them. I'm gonna fight them if I feel that the quarters are too tight. But otherwise, I'm not going to, I guess. We'll see. I'll base it on the map and how it is arranged. Chapter 2, Decay. I mean, durability can add to a horror game, but throwables. Some throwables, throwable interface slot, press the throw key F to use item. Does it, is that a distraction? Can I distract the enemy with the throwable? I bet those are heavy. Actually, not that heavy. Okay, these don't seem to have, um... What else did I pick up? I picked up a lot more than three things. What else did I pick up? More meat or something? A ranged... Oh, it does damage? It doesn't seem to indicate damage, but alright. Does it do damage? I'm skeptical if it does damage or not. I mean, I guess hitting the head of a rock could probably do some damage, but... 
I would have more imagined the throwables for distracting an enemy. Like, oh, what's that set over there? You better go check it up. Sort of, you know. Wait, what key was it for throwing? Oh god, I forgot. Throwing is F. Okay. Do not accidentally hit F thinking I can activate a flashlight. Got it. I could just rebind it, but... Oh! Oh god. <laughs> yeah, no kidding about the maze aspect. It's a garbage. This level design is garbage. No, it, it's honestly fine for a horror game, but like... This, 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 this utility play, like, in a real-world example, building an area, this is, that's garbage. That is garbage utility planning. This looks breakable, almost. Probably not, though. Tantalite. Hello. I wonder if headshots matter. How did I miss you? Well, at least he missed me too. What the? Oh yeah, right, you can throw things, I forgot. Asshole. Huh, I only took two hits. Please don't tell me that's- Oh my god, he nearly killed me. What the hell did he throw at me? A fucking- No, seriously, just sound like- Apparently that bottle is very fucking deadly. What the hell? Why did that hurt so much? Well, no more head no more health kits for me. I couldn't even by the way, I wasn't paying attention because I was watching my stamina, but I have to wonder because you guys were probably paying more attention. Did he like wind up to throw that or Oh come on, does it Oh that's cheap as shit. You fight the guy thinking, oh okay, if I fight this guy, I can get in the room. No. <laughs> oh that's mean. Is that was that even worth activating then? Hold on. Am I right about this being something I can just open then? No? That's mean as shit. No, I, you know, I'm just gonna leave that guy alone. How's that sound? I mean, he only attacks if I go in that corridor, so... Let's just leave him be. No, wait, that is, no, that, that is the direction I'm going. I thought that was a guy I killed. Maybe it was. I don't know. Alright, so lessons learned. Wait, I've been here. What is the, what the fuck? Did I load back a long time ago? No. What? Oh, I've returned to an old area and I didn't realize it until just now. Is that right? That's probably right. So where was I a moment ago? God, mazes. That rock thrown took out half my health. I thought so. So I did take out, like, yeah, god, god damn, this game is... This game does not have difficulty options, but I don't think anyways. Yeah, I mean, there's no difficulty. This is just the game's difficulty. What's the difficulty set to? It's set to the game's difficulty. That's what it's set to. Though I, I honestly feel like, especially for this being, this wasn't, this is not exactly new. And then it got a director's cut, right? I mentioned that. Um, I feel like it might have been a nice idea if the director's cut added difficulty options. Just that's, you know, just an idea. I feel like that would have been a terrible thing. Um, if there was difficulty options, I think that would have been nice, but, you know, whatever. Because, like, even, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Resident Evil and stuff also have difficulty? Didn't, 
Like, all the horror games I remember fondly, I'm pretty sure they had difficulty sliders. Actually, didn't some of the later Resident Evils even, like... Or not Resident Evil, but Silent Hills, actually. I think it was Silent Hill that did it. I remember some... There's some survival horror series that actually let you choose the difficulty of not only the puzzles and the act... Of not only choosing difficulty, but it lets you choose the difficulty of both the puzzles and the action separately. So if you were really shitty at action, if you're really shitty at fighting, then you can lower that typically, but focus on the puzzles, or if you're really shitty at puzzles, you can lower the puzzle typically. It was Silent Hill. Okay. Like, here's the thing about horror, right? Horror is subjective. And with a subjective activity like horror, horror you kind of want to... You kind of want to let the player tailor their experience, I guess you could say. That is to say, you know, work to the strengths and weaknesses so that they can enjoy, it, so they can truly get into the atmosphere. What the hell is up with it? This is glowing. Hmm. Interesting. Resident Evil 4 also had dynamic difficulty. Oh, dynamic difficulty? I think that means something different, actually. But actually, that's a good that's a good thing too. You reminded me of what that means. Um, dynamic difficulty, I think, is usually when like a game. Um, tailors the difficulty depending on how well the player is doing. So if the player is just rinsing shit, then the game gets harder. But if they're struggling, the game lets up a bit. Which is also very good. I approve of that as well. You didn't set your throat. Yeah, that's true. I mean, not that I'm going to use them, probably, but... I mean, maybe I will. Surface access. That sounds good for us. But, uh, okay, I got- I- color me curious. Let's pass this. I really wish there was a quick save key, considering how brutal this is. I feel- I don't like going to the menu, and it, I- it's, I feel like going to the menu in the middle of a horror game is a great way to interrupt the pace. But I kind of need to save. I also have rocks. Oh, I have rocks. Let me put the rocks on. Those are probably weaker than bricks. Do these- again, do these do damage? Because it's really dubious, like... You go to a weapon, you see what you see it's uh, actual damage. Rock? Rock's just throwable. So it does it kinda of makes it hard to tell if this is for damage or for distraction, you know? Some games you have throwables that do no damage whatsoever, but they act as a distraction for the enemy, so. So these guys clearly have they do damage. It'd be nice to know how much, but you know. If the melee weapons tell me, why not the throwables? Oh, uh Hmm. I, I noticed that. There's no real stealth. Well, I've lost the enemies, though, sometimes, so I feel like there is kind of stealth. Sometimes I juke them like they went the wrong way trying to find me. Also, I got another pickaxe. I'm fine with this. Let's finish breaking our scissors and yeah. Well, actually, what's the durability of this one? Uh, actually, yeah, it's max two, as far as I can tell. I think I'm supposed to go that way, so I'm gonna go this way. Fill in blue a little bit. This game's hard. <laughs> Call now five 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 four three five six four. I don't know the rest. Blue block key, Ricard. Oh yeah, it's Doom, alright. We're getting colored keys. <laughs> well, time to break shit and break the scissors in the process. Honestly, I'm okay- oh my god. We broke four crates with two swings. They were all one object, I guess. Interesting. Weapons ain't too rare. It's more upkeep. Well, I do like the pickaxes. They don't need to worry about upkeep with them. And also, once they do finally break, I can repair them. So. What was that? I'm picking up things that don't go into my inventory. I wonder what those are. Maybe key items or something? They just sort. There we go. Oh wait, no, they did go. Iodine tablets. Lowers damage caused by radiation. Oh. Increases hunger, lowers radiation. Okay, so I now I can irradiate myself and not worry about it. That's good to know. Right. Also, I think I think the I think what's ca problem causing me problems with this game isn't the durability system, isn't the enemies being hard and taking off a lot of my health. 
and it isn't the limited resources. I mean, those things become a problem, but it's only because of this. Hunger. Hunger! A hunger meter. You know what a hunger meter basically does? It sets a time limit for the player. Oh, is the player taking too long to get through this area? Is the player not advancing quickly enough? Well, their hunger's gonna build up. And as their hunger builds up, their stamina decreases. Granted, it doesn't do damage, at least. But it does lower my stamina, and lower stamina means less damage. Especially for the heavy attack. So, I think the problem here is that it's got mechanics where I should be careful, but it's also got mechanics where I should rush, and those con those kind of conflict with each other. Hello. Do not throw things at me today. No. Nope. Do not throw. Come on, get around the corner here. Okay, seems like a fully charged uh, attack with my stamina height. I can kill him in two hits. Good. Bye, scissors. There we go. <laughs> what? Oh, another one? Okay, sure. I feel like I hear two. Uh, come here, dude. Oh, come on! What a... No, no, what? You want... I was out of your reach. What the fuck, man? No, 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 no! Oh, you motherfuck! I was trying to, uh, apparently if you're charging a heavy attack, you can't sprit. Sprit. I guess that's understandable. But, ow. Rude as fuck. Where's my bandages? There we go. I'm so oh. Okay, he caused li I had to consume four bandages to stop bleeding. What the? This game is mean. <laughs> he, he raised my bleed meter so high that... God damn it. <laughs> If I drink this vodka, I'll die. One moment. <laughs> Get considered. Do I have anything to heal up? Technically. Right? I got something that'll heal me. No? Okay, I got... Well, I got more benefits, I guess. That's it, though. No more healing. Whew. Alright. So that just... You know, it's like... I, I, I'm ending these encounters wondering to myself, was that good enough? Maybe it wasn't. Yeah, like, I don't mind hard enemies, don't get me wrong, but there's just too many penalties here. Bunch of bleeding, which causes me to lose health very quickly, so if I'm bleeding in the middle of a fight... Well, I guess I could quick slot the, the bandages, that would probably help, but th that doesn't even do it... <sighs> My point is that it's hard to manage in the middle of a fight, but if you don't manage it, you lose even more health. And then, the fights themselves are tricky, and... While I would juke kill all these enemies, there's just too many... There's there's too many catch points in this in this game. There's too many choke points, that's the word. Choke points are basically any point in a game where if an enemy interrupts you in that point, you cannot get around it. There are so many choke points in this environment that fighting is kind of something I feel encouraged to do, but also at the same time discouraged to do. It's like the game wants me to do... The game is sending me multiple signals, and I'm not sure which one to follow. I can see my bleed bar here, but it's only so helpful. Soda's good. I think soda uh, fixes hunger and raises stamina, so. Oh, it's energy drink. Oh, that's even better. Don't mind getting a bunch of those. That's good. But it's like, do I fight or do I dodge? I, it's hard to tell. It really is hard to tell what I should do. Again, I don't mind difficulty, but I think the best horror games um, do avoid being too difficult. Like they'll, the, the idea of a horror game is to put you in a situation where you feel like you're completely insurmountable, like everything around you is just going to take you out. But if it actually does take you out, that just leads to frustration, repeating sections, getting bored. So it's a real careful balancing act. A good horror game should definitely make you feel. Like you're gonna die at every second, but if it's actually killing you every second, that's not good. You know what I mean? It's about giving that illusion of, oh god, I can't win this situation. But at the same time, you should be able to generally persevere. It's okay if you die now and then, of course, but... So let's, 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 let's talk about this. The AI kind of sucks, so... I have a high, I have an idea, but... Here. What? Alright. Oh, 
Also, I think their their attack range is kind of stupid. Yeah, there's multiple. Useless. I feel like it. Yes. Yep. Yep. I don't feel like there's a point of fighting. Okay, grab, grab, grab it, grab it, grab it! You fucking idiot. Okay. Okay, sure. Why not? Oh, hi. Wow, okay. So I tried the idea of not fighting. Because I feel like fight... Maybe I shouldn't use heavy attacks. I don't know. Uh, just whack me. I mean, I was, was quote-unquote only at half health there, but still. What the fuck? So it feels like I need to fight, right? I'll try the throwables out, see how they do. Like that! And that! And that! Oh. And that. This doesn't. You don't seem to care. Okay, so I cannot interrupt their attacks. Also, every. F one hit! Five on the bleed meter! A bandage heals three! These enemies are fucking ridiculous. Like, okay, but like, do I need that much bleed for one fucking hit? It's, it, it really is a frustration over fear at this point. Yeah, throw, throw a rock at your friend. That sounds good. You know, I'll, I'll just try... No. And how much bleed did that cause? Five bleed. Actually, six. Also, I noticed when they were swinging their arms around in a different fight, they have larger range than they appear to. Okay. New, new, new attack strategy. The swing and dodge back strategy. Oh, I ran out of stamina. Well, that makes sense. That was my own fault. I'd, ra I'd rather play a clunky tank horror game controls than this, though. <laughs> I, I like how that guy always picks up a rock and just immediately throws it into his friend. Alright, maybe the fast attacks are better. I don't know. Maybe we should end off with like a heavy attack like this. Maybe it's like fast attacks and then heavy to end off. Like, when I want to do the killing blow, so to speak. Cool. I had no way of dodging that. Yeah, headbutt bleed, you know? Because headbutts are really... What? What? <laughs> yeah, I, I, you should feel like you're on the scale of your teeth, not actually be there. Is how I feel about a lot of horror games. Also, stamina does take a bit to recover. I say the more stamina I have, the more powerful my head. Oh, no, 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 no! Ha, fucking idiot. Wait a minute, you notice how many rocks I threw at these guys? and how much damage it didn't do on them. I point this out because they they took out half my health with a rock. They are throwing rocks at me. They do like tons of damage. They throw I throw a rock at them. It's like, what? It doesn't do anything to them. I threw a ton of rocks at that one guy. He did not seem to care. I'm sure rocks do damage, but it sure is hell a lot less damage than when they throw a rock, which feels a little unreasonable. Okay, come on. Fuck you. <laughs> it's like he's stuck. He's stuck. Okay, let me encourage him out. Immediately gets hit for my trouble. Okay. Oh my god. Come on! Oh, that side of the back really does kind of encapsulate how I feel right now. I missed. I missed. I missed again. I, I can't even fucking aim. Nope. Aha. Stop throwing my rocks. They're mine. Like, at the very least- No, stop! <laughs> okay. Would you stop pick up every fucking rock? Oh good, I missed. Okay, now for the other guy. Is he picking up my- he's not picking up my rocks, he's just finding magical rocks that don't exist. Which makes sense, honestly. A lot of enemies do that in games, so... <sighs> Fuck no! 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 Fuck you! No! 
Oh, how did he not hit me there? I'll take it. Charge up. All right. Come here. I am not waiting for you to throw a rock at me. Get over here. What? What's that noise? Oh, go! Did you just double hit? He double hit me. <laughs> he like, oh man, you don't look, guys. This is the first enemy. This is literally the first enemy. It doesn't need a. It doesn't need a. This is how they take off half my health at once. They have combo attacks. Can you charge the rock throws? Oh, that's a good thought. No, you just immediately throw it. Bricks. Actually, wait. This is guy stuck at all. I have less bricks, but sure. Come here. Come here. Great, I got both their attention, because they get stuck on this wall. Which means I have to juke them out, and then I get hit for my efforts. Like, like, you'll see. Oh, but the the rocks can be picked up. The bricks break instantly, though. You're right about the ri rock. Okay, yeah, but the rocks can be. The thing about rocks, I notice you can pick them up again. Bricks, though, they break. So it's only so useful. Stop throwing shit. So fucking. How many? Oh my god. I'm just trying to engage. Look, three enemies. Th three. En Listen. I should be able to kill three enemies without taking damage if I play smart. That's the way I look at these sort of situations. So far, kind of being proven wrong. Also, when I use a heavy attack on an enemy, you think that would stun them? No. Why would you think that? That's dumb. Why would you Why would you ever... Watch. Stun? No, I'm sorry. He's going to immediately hep up me, of course. Why would he stun? That would just be, that'd just be logical. That would just be logical to use a heavy attack and they stagger for a second. Log <laughs> logical. <laughs> Get the fuck over here. You know, the people that reviewed this game didn't mention how fucking atrociously difficult the fighting is. Get out of here. Alright. What did you give me? I think he gave me stim packs. No, he gave me, uh, lipstick. Salami looks like lipstick. I'm just gonna hold on to that. Yeah, Dark Souls is more forgiving. What? Oh, they have like a fast mode, I just realized. I mean, I'm getting the hang of it a little bit now, but like, it's so fucking precise. And there's always the risk that they're just gonna swing and hit me anyways. Yeah, Dark Souls is way more fair. <laughs> Even Dark Souls 3, and you guys know how I feel about that one. There are longer weapons. Can I get a fucking... Can I get a fucking spear, please? Just do the pokies. The, the... I'm almost certain there's another enemy in here. Dark Souls at least plays by the same rules that impose on a player, which lets you manipulate AI. Alright, I know there's another guy. Where is he? Okay. <laughs> okay, hi. See, the jump scares are a little more meaner in this game, because if I get surprised by an enemy, they're gonna do a lot of damage to me, and it'll suck. Good! I was so fucking far away from you, you asshole, but okay. Oh my god, I'm frustrated. <laughs> that was a perfect example of they have a larger hurt box than they should. Look, they don't have they don't they're not fucking they're not Sonic the Werehog. They don't have fucking extendo arms, so how are they doing this? Also, it's worth knowing that when I do the heavy attack, I lunge, which sometimes causes me to whiff. Which kind of blows, but oh well. I mean, yes, this is surmountable. I'm starting to see now, this is very much... What did I just get? A broken knife. 
Knife repair kit can repair it. That sounds... That yeah, could be useful, I don't, I don't know. This is definitely surmountable. I could definitely do this without getting hit. But, I feel like I will need saves to prevent that, just the moments where something goes bullshit. Which is a bit of a shame. It does hurt the horror factor a lot for me if I get frustrated. If I get frustrated, I just get really mad. I don't, I'm no longer scared at that point. I just, I just venomously hate the enemy. I don't actually get scared by it anymore. I wonder how funny the other enemies will be. Also, you gotta watch them. When they run corners, they're just swinging immediately. Yep. Get over here. Oh my god. I'll prepare for damage, everyone. <laughs> Told you. <ya. laughs> also, if they're not even gonna pathfind correctly, I can't even set up to, like, str strategize. I can't strategize if this is how they're gonna move. You know? Cool. It's just, it's just, man, I really wish there was a quick save, quick load button. And yes, I don't have to use the heavy attacks, but it is the best idea. Man, I, again, like every time I dodge her attacks, it's by a mere millisecond. Fuck off. Alright, um. Oh, okay, cool. Also, there's a sure lot of enemies, wouldn't you say? Okay, cool. Fuck your backhand, too. Frustration breaks immersion! Especially for me! Well, so this is why I, this is why I want to lead them because look, if I had entered the room with this guy, I would have gotten back attacked. So, yeah, that doesn't work. All right, I guess I'll save again. I don't want to save after every fucking enemy I kill, but I also don't feel like I have much of it. How's my durability? Durability is fine. Durability is fine at least. I don't want to save after every enemy, but I have to, you know. Like, what other option do I have? I feel like the game would be a lot more fair if it gave me a pistol or something, you know. Because then it'd be like, okay, very dangerous melee, but you, you, you can fight it, you know? You can fight it from a distance and work with your work with your trade. That would make more sense in my brain, anyways. Look at that! Sometimes I do actually stagger them, but it's so rare. Sometimes they actually stagger, which I guess that, like, the melee would be a lot more fair if using a heavy attack with high stamina actually staggered the enemy, like interrupted their attack and staggered them. That way I could get in there, melee them, and actually be safe for a brief second. Uh, thus making the melee attack and my successful execution of the heavy attack, it would reward the player. The heavy attack should stun an enemy, wouldn't you think? But look at that, he does not give a shit when I hit him most of the time. It's like, oh, you tickled me with a feather? That's cute. <laughs> I didn't even feel that. <laughs> Again, though, that's how this is how you this. I'm explaining how melee. Look, in in most survival games, you have melee and range, and melee is more dangerous. But typically, if you could stun an enemy with a heavy melee weapon, that makes the melee viable. Um, you might want to play a different game. Oh, I'm gonna keep going for this for a little bit. Apparently, there are guns that are rare. I don't think there's so much hate in the game as grip out right about the frustration in the game that he's otherwise Yeah, I actually really like the atmosphere and stuff. This is like really well put together, but I don't understand the difficulty balancing. Mr. Scott. That's weird, that's my last name. As you requested on from last week's visit, I followed up on treatment options. The community of foreign races is still young, so unfortunately we don't have the required equipment here. Most patients we get with similar conditions are usually referred to go back to the mainland for treatment. I understand if you have a preference to stay. But sadly, this is all I can recommend. Also, I, another problem, another frustration is like when it comes to taking damage, it's like, I can't just heal, you know? I gotta like, well, I can heal, but that's gonna raise my hunger. Or I can heal, but that's gonna raise my radiation, then I'm gonna take more damage. Or, you know, etc, etc, etc. So it's like... And even when I do take damage, then there's the added frustration of figuring out how I should balance my bars. And that wastes even more of my time in the menu, which is... Isn't not particularly fun, you know? Again. You should rather enjoy the wrench. Why? Cannot be broken. Oh, okay.
How much damage did it do? 17. A lot less damage, but I'm... That's fine. We have acquired the thing to break crates with. And nothing else, <laughs> basically. Riches, they make them like they used to, I guess, unlike other things. Yeah, I do really find it floor breaking to save so much. I'm sorry for that. Alright, where's the ambush enemy? Okay. Oh, hi there. Can I just, like, whack him in the... Okay, well, that... Okay, while they may be fast, I immediately prefer them because I can one-shot them. Um... Electric boyos. Let him pounce and then let him have it. But there's one right over here, isn't there? Oh, no, it's a big guy. Take your time. No, no, fuck you. Oh, no! <laughs> Leaving. Right, that's fine. I'll get him here. Okay, sure. I didn't bleed that time. Wait, there's actually a ch proc chance? Well, that makes me even more upset because they're always succeeding on it. Be okay, so it's RNG based and RNG hates me. Got it. <sighs> Should I accept that run? Look at that. I mean, I got... See, I've got syringes that increase bleeding but heal me, but uh, I only have one bandage. There's an RNG. RNG. I don't know what RNG stands for. Range? Range chance. That when I get hit, I'll bleed. But it seems like most of the time they succeed at that. I guess I'll ride of it since I'm not bleeding. I feel like it'd be very easy to get into an unwinnable situation this game. Imagine you're bleeding without bandages and have like no health and then you just die over and over again. Though maybe the game at least has the mercy of, I mean, maybe Epic can confirm or deny this. Perhaps bleeding can't kill you. It can only lower you to one health. I would hope so, given how fucking frustrating this game is. Oh good, I missed. Nope. Nope! Okay, cool. This is what I mean by the heavy attack has a lunge, and that's not always a good thing. Because a lunge repositions where I'm aiming. And with a repositioning, I may not aim, I may not hit where I'm going to hit. Man, a number two right here. Yeah. Oh, 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 cool! Oh, wow! I'm dead! Look at that! <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> cool! <laughs> Don't stand at corners, kids. Though, granted, I thought I was staying far enough away for the corner. Apparently not. Yeah, this is ridiculous. The enemy should have cooldowns. The enemy should be stunnable. They are technically stunnable, but it's very rare. Again, it seems RNG-based. They attack faster while I'm fast. True. They have two modes. That is true. You know what? I'm hungry. Let me just eat something. Okay, now you show up! And die! Alright, there we go. Die and give me your energy drink? I don't know. Whatever. I'm just gonna consume food. I don't care about radiation anymore. Fuck it. Okay. I actually shouldn't care about rage because I do have the tablets. There we go. Delicious sandwiches. Okay. Saving. At least everything's in a good state right now. Dodge the first attack to slow him down. But, but, dude, that, remember the last death? They did a two-hit combo on me, so I can't, like, technically, it sounds like a good idea, but they have combo attacks, so I don't think that would work. It would not give me much of an advantage. For raw bread, it sounds pretty crunchy. That's all the, that's the, uh, dried-out mold. <laughs> Get around the corner, asshole. Oh my god. Now you do. Okay, at least I had a moment to dodge. 
Okay, you actually missed me, but okay, whatever. It, like, he literally hit to the, my left, but alright. I'll just get over here. Now, the fact that I do lunge, I should consider. I shouldn't get in its face. That's actually, I guess, part of the tea? Alright, where's the next one? Hi. Oh, oh, two of you, okay. Yeah, in the fast mode, I should be more concerned. I don't think they really should deserve a, a fast mode. It's kind of rude. Also, I would like just to lead them down quarters, but sometimes they throw... Red, they are a little slow at throwing. I could probably stop, like, lifting my axe for an attack and then, like, leave. <laughs> Safe, I guess. I'm getting better. I am getting better. Like, I'm getting better at fighting, but... I guess you could say it doesn't feel very fun, regardless, to uh, engage in this fashion. At least... Okay, let me put it this way. If this was the end of the game, and I had more gear and experience, then this would be fine. <laughs> but as it stands, this is just fucking hard. For this, for this point in the game. Like, does that make more sense? Like, if this was in-game, I'd be like, okay, yeah, the difficulty should be ramped up at this point. But, um... The game would probably be a lot more enjoyable for you by fixing the attack hitbox for them or have more, a bit more of attack pattern. Again, it'd be also more enjoyable if I could actually stun them for a moment. Even for just half a second. That would be long enough to satisfy me. Half a second of, the, of stun would be amazing if I use a heavy attack with enough stamina. Like, I feel like if you're using a lot of salmon and a heavy attack, and it's lunging, and I'm lunging- If I'm lunging with a peck axe, something should be stunned by that. I feel like- I feel like that's not unreasonable to ask for. Also, that we've opened a shortcut. This is from, uh, this is an earlier area. And, yeah. You know what? Just for the hell of it. Because I'm getting a little- Just for the hell of it, I should kill that guy. Now I've got a little more confident of fighting. So, like, I realize that it is possible to develop my skills and fight better. Don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, see, I need to use the lunge to my advantage. Which I wasn't doing before. Fuck you. I'm gonna still say your rigs. Right, um... Still, it, 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 yeah, I'm getting, the, I'm getting the ebb and flow a bit more, so I definitely wouldn't say that this is impossible or anything. But I would say that this is not really friendly, like... Again, just because you're playing- just because you're making a horror game doesn't mean you should be, like, throwing up middle fingers to the player. Still help them learn the game. Still help them- like, there's tutorials, sure, but, like, the enemies themselves, like... I would have spaced out the enemies more. I would have had a different variant. This basic enemy is still really fucking hard. I would have had, like, a weaker version that, like, only stumbled. Maybe it still attacked fast, but it couldn't, like, run. Couldn't do the fast shuffle. So, like, it was- and couldn't throw. An enemy- Basically, an, a gift version of these guys would have been good to start out the game with, so the player could get used to the combat while still facing an enemy that is strong, technically. That's what I would have done, anyways. Like, feel free to phase out this gift version of the enemy later in the game, but start out the player with that so they get so they can get their feet wet on what is going on with the gameplay and how you fight and stuff. That's how I would do it, anyways. <laughs> Again, this is a director's cut. This is a polished up version of the original game. So it's very perplexing to me that, of all things, this director's cut doesn't consider, you know, different player skill levels or such. And maybe allow for, you know, difficulty sliders and stuff. Again, it's a director's cut. I feel like this should be the most accessible version. Somebody's upset. <laughs> If this was like a just released or something, and a new and completely new game, then I'd be like, "All right, all right, I get it. They haven't been, it hasn't been balanced, you know. I get it." But like, this is this should be way past the balancing phase, so that's why I am complaining. It's had years to balance, so which indicates very clearly what the purpose, the intent of this game is. Uh, it's the developer entirely wanted it to be this way. Well, I can grab items through that. That's interesting. This is how the developer wanted things to be. Also, I got more regs. I don't know when that... Oh, yeah, that's right. I did pick up another shirt. They're the same, though. 
I guess I'll replace it when the old one is breaking. My clothes last longer than my health bar, so I don't really care too much. <laughs> You know, this map really doesn't help me that much. Okay, I mean, I guess I'm over here. That's cool. Honestly, I'm barely paying attention to the maps because everything's too confusing that even with a map, I think I could just lose place of where I am. <coughs> so, you know. FYI, I suppose. Red pills? Do I have red pills? I don't seem to have red pills. I have salami. It's very squelchy salami. But yeah, to finish what I was saying, though, it's pretty clear what the intent of this game in is. Um, it's... It's... This is how the dev wanted it. You know, this kind of reminds me of, uh, what was that one game? Um... October Ordeal, was it? It was it's something I played for Sage. It was a Super Mario World rum hack. And, uh... It was... Well, it was a Super Mario World rum hack, I suppose. Army rations. Stab a boost and a Philly Mill. Nice. Basically, when you get into rom hacks of a lot of games, You'll typically find that the developers are like, well, I'm making this for people that have already played the original game, so I'm going to make it harder than the original game. And some people really like that. I always think that's kind of a lame way of doing it, though. It's anti-accessible, and, like, what if you enjoyed the difficulty of the original game? What if that's the difficulty you liked and you would like more of that difficulty? Sorry. The developers of, you know, like, 50% of ROM hacks think that you should honestly get good and play something even harder, apparently. Anyways, that's the impression this game gives me. While it is an original game and not a ROM hack, well, it's still a total conversion off of uh, Doom 2, but it kind of gives me the impression of this is... the developer just wanted things to be freaking hard, which, I mean, you know, it's your game, dev. You can develop your game. You can Any dev can put their game together however they want. I get it. If they want it to be blindly difficult, that's their choice, but, like... I just think it's not a really, it, you know, they have that personal choice, but I have the personal choice to disagree with it, too. Um, difficulty should be rewarding. That's my attitude. It should be fun if something is hard. Like, yeah, moments of frustration if it's, if it's hard and you take a while to surmount it, but that's a hole. It's easy to make things hard. Balance is the key thing. And the better you balance your game, the more you respect your player, I feel. Honestly, this is really cool, and that's the thing. It's just disappointing that it's so hard. Again, I wouldn't be complaining if there was difficulty sliders. If there was, if there was difficulty sliders, then I would just I would just be like, well, I sure clearly shouldn't be on the difficulty. You know, it's my fault. But, uh, since there's no definitely sliders, I feel justified in saying what I'm saying. There's clearly a lot of monsters around here. It's sort of like the Neo F effect, where the devs were bouncing against the speedrunners rather than the average... Yeah. The speedrunner community, you know, I'm, I'm not really one of it, and I don't really care about speedrunning. And I think that community is a little too hardcore. And But, you know, they, you do you, you know? If you're into speedrunning, whether as a observer or as a runner them yourself, you know, it's fine. You know, even if you're, like, really hardcore into a particular game, and I think that's a little bit odd, you know, if you're having fun. But the problem is some devs have actually catered towards speedrunners over the average player, and that kind of... Like, I don't mind the idea of catering towards speedrunners at all, don't get me wrong, but, like... There are the ones that can obsess over a game. Maybe not everybody wants to obsess over game mastering a game, though. Maybe some people just want to play a game without, like, putting that much thought into it. Without, like, scheduling their next few weeks to learn the game, you know? Mm. 
guess we're going this way. I really wish her At the very least, developer of this game, if you want to be so brutally hard, why the fuck did you not give me a quick save and quick load button? I know you could do so. You converted so much else, and I've seen Doom 2 mods that have those options, so... Again, though, there might be something in the options and I'm just missing it, but I don't think so. I will open the... I will posit the possibility that it, there is a way to quick save, but I haven't seen it. Wait a minute, I have a console command. Is it possible to enable quick saving with console? Hmm. Press F6, X, no, I've, I've done, L let me demonstrate. F1 does this, oh, okay, well, that's kind of interesting. It's just nice to have that back on screen if you need, oh. Oh, hey, here's the people that made it. Wadaholic. Huh. F2 does, oh, it's F2. So there is a key for it. Just had to keep pressing F keys. I just had to keep haphazardly pressing function keys until I figured it out. Look, one of them was wanting to quit the game, so I stopped pressing them. Okay, F2 to quick save, F3 to quick load. Thank God for that. I wonder why that wasn't in the control list. Great, it's not super fast as I self select it. I just wish it was a hit button immediately saves, hit button immediately loads, but whatever, I'll still take that. God, okay, let's keep going. Ooh, a handle. Cool, I'll just make another pickaxe later. Backtracking. Did I do a loop or did I just get confused? Oh my god. Here's the thing about me and mazes, guys. I'm sorry, I will get turned around. It just happens. I hope that there are. Well, okay, I don't mind mazes in horror games, but it should be broken up with other types of layouts. And I hope. Is this game nothing but mazes? Please tell me that it breaks things up a bit. Ah, okay, a valve. Oh, wait, that's not anything. All right. Bye, Vidian. All oh, right, the hole. I need to go in the hole. I'm in the hole. Nice to be here. Are you hostile? Probably. Well, I mean, I hit you in the face, so I'm gonna assume. Oh, you're one of. All right. All right, cool. Just, uh, just kind of verifying what you are. Don't mind me. That was more experimental than actually thinking I'd win. So don't mind, don't mind me. Oh, I am. I get that. Probably can, hold on. Oh, doors, oh, okay, I see, I see. Ooh. What the hell did I just find in that little nook? Is that tape? Duct tape. I realize I could make a ball, Tom. <laughs> I think I got everything I need for it. Or explosive. I'll, th I'll think about it later. Some of these guys on fire does sound a little cathartic, but. Not gonna like the hole. I mean, at least they're not immediately attacking me. Oh, I should probably make sure I grab that. I should save after I get to the hole again. I almost forgot to pick up the handle again. That's very important. Also, the person who said maybe I shouldn't play this game if I'm not enjoying it, I'm gonna push through. I wanna see if it changes. All right. Red pills, they, uh, Reduce bleeding, apparently. But for the sake for the cost of hunger. Why does everything have to have a cost? Alright, well whatever. Oh, 
Alright, so, are you alive? No, okay. Right, here's what I'm gonna do. I have a plan. Oh, God damn it! I thought- I thought I could avoid this bit by going around that little flesh pillar. Nope. Alright, I'll wait for you to spit. Oh god, okay, and then you ran at me. God, every enemy has to be, like, fucking... <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't mind the electric guys being fast, because they're also weak in health. Which makes it fair, honestly. Okay, he was pretty close to death. So, if I pull this off right... How many chapters are there? Six? Okay. What if I just, like... Ha ha! You can! I was like, you know, they take a second to wake up. What if I just kept attacking? I'll come back. Okay, fine, bye. Angry boy. Ang angry, bad pathfinding boy. Well, this is a pickle. Um... There you go. There you go. <sighs> Rude. Okay, so I could totally just heavy attack, quick attack them. It seems very consistently reliable. Alright. If I, uh... They may or may not immediately attack me, though, so I'm gonna use a tactic. Right? Come here. I don't mind the spit. It's not a big deal. I don't... I... Oh. No, it is! Okay, cool. Even the spit can make me bleed. Oh, the bleed does go down over time. I just noticed that. So I guess I can't... I guess I... Hmm. So bleed goes down over time. That adds a new dynamic to this. That means that I, if I want to, I could just go, guess I'll take health damage and not use a bandage. Yeah, let's go away. I never waited long enough to notice that. Can be worth bleeding a little. I mean, in this case, in this situation, I'm okay with it. That being said, why the fuck did spit make me bleed? I mean, maybe it's acid, but... Shame. Shameful. And that time... Oh my god, that time he did eight bleed. That just seems... I think the... I, I get the bleed idea, right? I get the idea of this enemy can, you know, maybe enemy attacks can make you bleed. But I feel like they really went overboard with it. I know it goes away over time, but... I feel like the bleed meter is a little unreasonable. What do you guys think? Sometimes these guys have, a, like, stun, I guess. I guess it's a stun effect that's happening. Sometimes they stun, sometimes they don't. Uh oh. You know what? Wait, am I stun- am I stunning them with basic attacks? That was kind of amusing, actually. Oh my god, how about a stun- oh, what the fuck? Huh. No bleed of- no bleed? I got all those hits! And that time I didn't bleed at all. Also, there is a delay between attacks, just letting you guys know. Oh, oh no, you woke up. How did you manage to shoot around? Dude, there's a flesh pillar between us. How even are you doing that? Okay, whatever. Rude. Being grazed does less damage? I guess that makes sense. Seems like the enemies sometimes get really confused after I attack them. Oh no, he's too far away. 
Yeah, sometimes the play is just like really ridiculous, and sometimes it's not. Weird, weird, weird. It might be a graze mechanic, yeah. Is there a mechanic ringing unstuck? I wish the game would mention it if there is one. It seems like I get confused. I Wait a minute. Hmm. I'm using its enemies to study AI. The AI a bit. That one always manages to turn and attack me before I kill it. The other ones don't. You notice that? Well, typically anyways. Some of them take a while to wake up, but some of them don't. And it seems really consistent. Oh, that one almost got me. I guess it depends on how far away I am from them. Yeah, that yeah, that one always immediately goes in for the spit. <laughs> Gotta be mindful. So is that one. Damn it. Oh, I took the lead. I'll, t I'll accept that. <laughs> I see. Yeah, I, you know, some people might say that I was being too aggressive trying to take them all out. Kind of looks like you need to, because if you approach the switch without with some of them alive, well, you just saw what happened. <sighs> so either I take them out now or I get swarmed later. Oh, relax. Oh god, what? 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 How did I whiff three swings? I actually whiffed three swings. Okay. Again, there's just a level of unrelentingness to this all. Range. I mean, okay, to be fair, these long leg spider people probably do have more range than I do. At least this enemy makes sense about it. Get the hang of it. Ah, oh, fuck it. If there is a way out of it, it doesn't... I don't think there's a way out of that early. I think you're just stuck there for about... What, three seconds? I'm using these enemies to kind of practice, I guess you could say. I want to see what I want to... I'm trying to figure out what I, how I want to fight things. God, the, the accuracy of them is also pretty frustrating. Save after each 2-3 killed? I feel like I'm, it's kind of a... I'll be honest. At this point, it's kind of an honor-based thing. Like, I want to be able to do this without saving. I'm kind of frustrated at the enemies. No, bad. Stop. The boulders sometimes block attacks. It depends on where you're standing. I got stuck on a... Wait a minute, actually, the edge of that rock sticks out, like a tip box sticks out further than I think. Just learned that right there. I should have had just enough room to dodge, but I didn't. We're fat. I think, I think the answer to all this is just we're fat. <laughs> yeah, look at that. This is as close as... Look at this rock, look at this. This is as close as I can get to it. That's weird, man. All right, um. Just don't want you to suffer. I don't know, man, this was my big game. I didn't expect it to be so frustrating, though. Damn it. If only they had slightly more wind-up. Well, let's see, how am I doing? 
Okay, I only took a little damage and no bleed, so I think I'll accept that. Alright, let's go after the next one. I think some of them are literally just kind of stuck where they exist. Okay, I might wake up two here. Keep that in mind. I climbed that well. Okay, I might wake up two here as well, though. Oh, well, okay. I'll work a bit. Cut. Like, the terrain is really bad for fighting. I I made that work. <laughs> you can tell I'm getting better at the fighting. I decided, you know, I'll go for two lunges on this one. I woke up too, didn't I? Oh, okay. I can't even... S you know... I think the screen effect is also maybe a little overkill, like, hey, are you getting your ass kicked? Well, how about you go don't get to see anything either? Wake up 2 might just be a thing I have to deal with. Though, granted, I could go the other way and see if I can... I could try going the other direction after killing a number of them, and see if I can, uh... See if I can go the other way. Good night, TF Fair. Corners. <laughs> At least, fuck corners is stick. I think my character just has a larger hitbox than I. Yeah, I think my character just simply has a large hitbox. Which would explain why both enemy attacks are connecting when I don't think they are, and why I'm colliding with things when I don't think I would. So we just have. We're just fucking obese, man. That's the key here. We're obese. Too chubby. Oh well. I appreciate that it just stopped attacking after that. Okay, this is where I need to go the other way. Wait, if I go into this room, will they all activate? I'll save. I'll save. You know what? Let's save here. Alright. Can't just. You know, I can just. Oh. I do think it's- I'm sorry, I didn't even see you attack, I saw you walk into me. I know you're in fast mode, but seriously? Oh my goodness. I, I really feel like I'm- I feel like I accidentally am playing on some, like, nightmare difficulty and I'm not supposed to be on the- Stop! Stop! I feel like I'm playing on some nightmare difficulty I wasn't supposed to start the game on. I feel like this is all an elaborate, like, mistake. <laughs> What's over here? Ah, this is optional. I could just get the fuck out, I guess. At least, well, one presumes you can just leave. I'm not sure if that would be a bad thing, though. Might be. So I'm worried about them just randomly waking up. Like when I approached the switch, they did that, so. I mean, I have TNT I can use. Okay, that that look, look destructible. I'm not even sure where I'm going. Okay, I've looped around behind these guys, alright. Could be useful. The problem is, the way these guys are clumped, I don't... Wait a minute, I have a solution.
That's... I was hoping to make a ball, Tov. Hold on, wait. That's what blue. <laughs> oh, if I still have my... If I still have my... Wait, I do have vodka. Wait, hold on. Are you serious right now? I got any bandages? I can't make a Molotov? With vodka? I can make a well, I can make bandages of alcohol, sure, but bandages of vodka, not bandages of alcohol. Let's see, lighter fluid, empty bottle. So I need lighter fluid specifically. I guess I need something to light it with, yeah. Sorry, I was I was just hoping I could throw a Molotov into this group and just like peace out and see how and just listen to them burn. Alright, and, and and that's in that case, I'm just gonna eat some mushy apples that I consider the situation, but uh Tell you what I'll do. I will instead make Um, it's actually pretty decent damage, but that's not what I... Can I just make a bomb? I guess I need something to light it regardless, though. That's disappointing. <laughs> All right, too bad. No radius attack I could do then. Guess I'll have to do it the hard way. Uh oh, that's not what I'm to do. Nope. Damn, I messed that up. That's a lot of bleed, but I'll accept it for now. This is very precision work because they're so close together. I saw that. What's that? I got a sandwich! Yum. Alright, uh... Good! The Eldritch Spire Horrors had a sandwich. Just what I needed. Alright, is there anything left alive? Or in some state of living that probably shouldn't exist? Not for the looks of it. Guess we'll know in a second. Okay, have I have I upset anyone? Keep in mind when I keep in mind all those enemies. When I even walked over to the switch, they all woke up and tried to kill me. So what I just did was pretty much required. We all saw how accurate they were. Like there was no. Help me in the situation if I uh, hadn't done what I did. Did I miss anything? Well, there was the pit. I'm still curious about that. Even want even monsters with breakfast waking up. That's true. Nice little egg sandwich. Um. So what, what happens if we go down here? Oh, hi. That was an unfortunate thing that I didn't see them, but it worked, though. Okay, I may or may not be loading my save in a minute. I'm just seeing where this goes.
Uh. Oh, come on! I even sprint. Okay. So, I tried sprinting when it spit, so that it would spit where I was, and then I sprint away from that location. Lol, no, they track. Their spit, the spit somewhat tracks. I, I think that's another problem. The AI has a stupid amount of accuracy, which is kind of frustrating. Got the gold can! Good work, Esler. Now, now Mala is going to be jealous of you. Alright, let's go ahead and loot this area. This is probably a bonus area anyways. What the hell am I getting? I don't know. Let's find out in a minute. Oh, this just drops back. Okay, yeah, this is all This is all bonus. Okay, what did I get for my efforts? Let's see. I got a pole. Good reach, apparently. But not very durable, so I don't know how much I care. I got... I got nearly maxed out weight. I should probably drop some stuff, but... I got a shotgun shells? I got... Compound AK2. Can I be combined with syringe? Miracle drug. Nothing seems to be wrong with the compound. It appears security problems in the user. It's, it's a very Philly mill. Okay, so this is a, this is a... I see. Well, I guess I should make that. <laughs> Miracle drug made. Alright. What else do we get? We got the Hassan injection. Uh, allows faster focus attack effect for two... Okay, this is not a permanent injection. Uh, so how is it an injection when it's tablets? <laughs> got some tuna. A mobile gas cooker can make some meats better, I think. Including the rotten meat. Another storage. Hmm. Scientific med kit, better than a normal one. Okay, well this this definitely has some nice loot. I need to think about dropping some shit though. Um Pipe. It is junk actually. Let's get rid of that. And the scissors. And the Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. I almost got rid of the pole, and then I noticed something. Yes, I got a sledgehammer head. I didn't even notice that. Does not deal a lot of damage. Oh, 180. 180 is good damage, sir. I don't know what they're talking about. Charge weapon? Well, it sounds useful to me. Alright, um... Uh... That'll do for now. Med kit if I need to need it badly. Okay. I got some swag now. Lowered my weight a bit. It'll do for now. Shit, sure, let's see. Now that I think about it, maybe I should just eat the med kit. Yeah. Scientific med kits can go there. Um so lowers radiation, reduces bleeding. Okay, that's good. Hmm. Well, all right then. Ooh, it takes longer to charge, but that's understandable. All right then. Um, I believe I have a hunch where this drops. <laughs> hunch was incorrect. One shot? Yeah, fuck you. Okay. So do I want to drop there, or do I not want to drop there? Kind of depends. It's 
nice to get a sledgehammer, though. Definitely. The hell did I just pick up? Alright, let's damage. Let's damage. Alright, um... Now that I have a sledgehammer, I'm a little happier. That guy's not happy. Where is he? I feel like somebody woke up when I hit that enemy. Now that I have a sledgehammer, things are a little more reasonable. All these dull breaks, I guess, but still. This is a different area that I have access to. That I kind of forgot about. Yeah. What's that on the ground? What the hell's that? Meat hook. Meat hook used to gut fish. Hmm. I don't know. Kind of gives me the impression of something that might combine with something else to make a scythe or something like that. Is this a good weapon? Good non -heavy, heavy attack damage input, one headed only. Weapon not that durable. Okay. Actually, well, let me just try to get it. Pretty fast. I'll give it a shot. Why not? Let's see how it does on these spiders. I kind of understand their health. Yeah, I'm back here. Okay, I know where I'm at now. I understand the spider's health bar, so. Oh, holy shit! That is pretty good. I guess I'll use this for now. Go back to the sledge after it's. That was a two hit quick attack. how you do that really do I, I don't think these, these these boys and their sprinty attacks are really annoying oh I'm out of oh right because I ran I have to consider I can't attack if I also am running like that yeah look at that I want to I want to demonstrate to you guys just how stupid the spit is watch me dash away from the spit as hard as I can Side steps will work. I'm sorry, what? Did that take four hits that time? Oh, I think I know why. No, actually, I don't know why. I'm not really sure why it took that much. If I dash back when I get spit at, spat at, I cannot dodge it. Man, Rao. Rao sprinty area, but still. I'm trying to demonstrate this. Yeah. They don't spit where you're at. They spit in a line. I, but it also is weird, because it does seem to angle downwards, but where it lands is going to be in order where you're at, you know what I mean? It's really dumb. It looks like it's an attack that hits the ground where you're at, but in fact, it, it's like it's going across like a bullet. Damn it. Also, another problem with the, the fact that we basically dodge roll instead of sprinting is that means if I like want to sprint into that doorway, we'll, we'll watch. Sprint the doorway. Oh, hit the wall. Okay, I should stay away from the wall. Sprint the doorway. Okay, got it that time. But like, it's really easy to overshoot. Like, oh, I went too far, you know? Okay. 
sledgehammer is better though. So it's it's this is a cool weapon, the scythe thing, the bee hook. It's not perfect, but it does it does seem plausible as a, as a useful weapon. I guess you could say. You're carried too much. Or am I not carried enough? Hmm. Alright, um, I should probably sort. And what do I not want? I'm just gonna eat random pills I don't care about, I guess. Wait. Oh yeah, shivs, right. What do I not need? Drop the rocks. Oh yeah, that would probably help. Put the bricks on. Eat the apple. Pastrami! Oh, I can combine the bread with a mobile gas. I must, wonder where we're actually going to find one of those mobile gas crickets. They seem useful. Yeah, there's just too many systems in place, man. I gotta worry about my hunger, bleeding will cause damage, radiation will cause damage if I eat too much things of radiation. I have to worry about keeping my stamina up. If I carry too much, there's a weight capacity. It's just... It's bog. The experience is kind of bogged down with too many things going on. What do you guys think? Drop the weaker pickaxe. Yeah, that probably. Is. Yeah, I'll do that. Why not? A little leery dropping weapons, but it actually seems to have pretty good durability, despite it saying it's not durable. It's all kind of bogging me down a bit. So where am I going? I'm down here now. Ah. Question answered. Limitations are useful in a horror game, but this horror game seems to stack up like three three horror games worth of limitations, you know what I mean? Oh whatever, shut up. Stop throwing bottles, it's rude. I shut up and die. Thank god I can one shot those guys too. The lunge! I wish there was a way to not lunge with a heavy attack sometimes. Because the, the lunge makes me miss, if you notice. Like, it's good! I like the lunge, but I feel like if I could control it, I'd like it even more. Come on, boyos. If they're coming at me in a straight line, the lunge is perfect. If not, potential for missing. Zombies are starting to wear on me a bit. Okay. Too many keys, man. Hold on a bit. I feel like I'm just backtracking again. At least until I have that other key, I think it's just backtracking. Um. This place, it was a paradise. They are all gone now. 
You call it a paradise, but you, do you ban dogs? It will never be the same again. Well, I can tell this guy's lying to me. The inventory used to be smaller, but there wasn't a weight limit. I would prefer that, actually. Well, okay, I guess we kind of bounced out the same thing, but... I don't know, man. Why not allow the player to hoard in this situation? I never... Like, even though I like Resident Evil and stuff, I would always say, like, the one thing I don't like is the inventory system. Limita limitations like that don't really, I, in my opinion, make the game better. Uh oh I messed up. Stop. Wow, you... The most inaccurate enemy so far is apparently those guys. Um. Hi. There you go. Oh, the other one? Hold on. No, I think it's just that one. Never mind. Yeah, I can could, I could start prioritizing my items a bit more. Uh, not a great, not a great situation, but that's fine. I'm carrying too much. Don't worry about it right now. It's fine. Let me load up on all this stuff right here, and then I'll look over what I got. Right. What I do not need. Um, I'll keep one meat hook. I'll keep thirteen pounds. I guess I'll hold on to the alcohol since I can make manages with it. I'll get rid of the dirty water, because dirty water. I'll get rid of broken... I don't know. I'm going to hold on to the broken knife because I'm kind of curious how what the knife is like. Probably like a better meat hook, I imagine, so... Um, what else can I drop? Let's drop a bit more. Canned meats. Cigarettes. Cigarettes don't weigh anything. I might as well hold on to them. The canned meat might be useful. Better, better to throw away the rotten meat. Well, the canned meat's heavier, though. Hmm. Hammerhead. That, I don't think. I think we can agree the hammerhead's probably not going to be useful. So let's throw that out. Um, med kits are heavy, but I'd like to keep them uh, for obvious reasons. Well, I guess I don't need two broken knives. Small savages? You can throw those out too, yeah. Uh, the raw meat. I'm gonna throw that out. Because it's raw meat. Limit the usefulness. Apple, I'll just eat. Um, I got way too many iodine tablets, but they don't weigh anything, so that's fine. I could throw away some of the canned meat. I'd rather have a. I'm gonna start using the med kits. Don't worry. That's a bit better. Now, why the hell is wood glue so expensive? Can I just glue all the sticks together? The ultimate handle weapon. Three handles on something else. Wood glue is surprisingly heavy. Oh well. That's better. I'm starting to need a lot of inventory management, I could tell. Oh, so this will be a multi-part stream, I suppose. I don't know. I can't tell you when I'll get to another section of it. That'll be played by ear, but... Let's see, so... Alright, so that way to the graveyards of Luxon offices. I don't... That sounds like where I need to go. Okay, Sammy. I should think about dinner, too, at some point. Oh, it's meat. That does not look like meat. I 
Another hand. Oh, hello. I think I've got to hand all these handles. Is that more scrap metal? I'll hold on to that. I'll skip all the handles. In fact, I'm going to throw away a handle. I got enough handles. Have I been here before? Wait, this looks familiar. Probably? Oh, hi. Thank God you used the headbutt attack. That's cheap, man. That's cheap. Alright, um... I feel like I'm just opening a ton of shortcuts right now. You know what? Heck it. Zoom. Where are they? They're there. Okay. This is a shortcut too. I remember that item. Why am I? Why so many shortcuts? Oh hi. All right. Guess I'll go this way. Oh, I know where I'm at. That room with the items, the tattle, oh, the god, the light. Gotta say, the lighting. Definitely glad I, that my video had the epileptic seizure warning because this game is certainly doing that. I never figured out what unlocked that room other than the backtracking, yeah. Like, I just kind of occurred to me, like, the flickering in this game is kind of ridiculous. Alright, so... Mm, I'm actually kind of intimidated by all the uh, shortcuts I'm opening. So I kind of feel like I'm going to get super lost. Can I... There's no map key, by the way. There's just static maps I can look at. Yeah, useless. I've been here before. Right. Um, there's a, There is another path if I can go back. Just don't ask me what back means. Oh wait, no, I remember. I need to like this way. I'm at the beginning of the game now. That's not what I wanted. Oh god. Look, I just want to go back to the where the the anti dog sign was. Uh, <laughs> Here's the thing. If you're designing a maze like structure for your game, it's generally a good idea to put landmarks around. Something the player that can go like, ah, that, I've been here before. And I was very concerned right from the get go when I started seeing the map design, and honestly. I can't tell you where I am anymore. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna be. I, what I'm going to be doing right now is just turning right until I get somewhere I need to go. I really wish I could murder all the things making noises. I think it's just amb ambience to some degree, though. So yeah, here's another problem. I was really worried about the map being overwhelming, but now that I've opened up a bunch of shortcuts to older areas, oh, it absolutely is. Now, granted, I'll probably need those shortcuts eventually when I have a key, but... Lord Lord knows I won't know where the keys are being used at. Right, another reason why I want to come back here is it's kind of quieter here. Creepy uh, audi creepy horror audi ambience like we were hearing is effective in, short, in small doses, but if it gone on too long, it kind of gets a little... Well... Kind of wears, kind of wears down your ears. What's that? A pole. Pole can be combined with uh, wood glue for another sledgehammer, I suppose. If we find another sledgehammer head. 
I guess I'll save. <laughs> Not sure if that's that was. Oh my god, outside. Also, yes, the game does sometimes slow down in, when loading areas, I notice. It's an odd place for... Wow, that's a clumped... That is like one fucking clumped up graveyard. What the hell? Just slam all the headstones, headstones together. It's fine. Oh, just a sledgehammer. Well, all right. Goodbye, pickaxe and pipe. Why do I have a pipe? All right, cool. And then with the with the uh, pole, I can make another sledgehammer of another sledge. Yeah, I guess we'll just. I guess this is. Out. I guess this is a uh, total chaos. We're charm sledgehammers, literally everything. Um, at this point. Look, it, it kind of balances out the bullshit enemy design, so hey, I'll take the sledgehammer, I'll just make use of it. There is nothing to find down there. Head to the storage room. Oh, you're right, there is a hammer. Never mind, I want the pickaxe back. Sledgehammer, hammer, they're not the same. Gotta have, the, it's not sludgy enough. It's just not sludgy enough, guys. If I, if I recall, the sledgehammer is not as, or the hammer is not as good as the... Wait a minute. It broke in. Can I be repaired with... Okay, I'll just get the head right. Okay. There we go. Also, the creepy guy told me not to go down the graveyard, so I'm going to go down the graveyard now. Can I just drop down, actually? Will that hurt me? Am I locked to a... No, I... I, I no, I can't. Of course not. said not to come here, so I'm going to come here. Let's see what we got down here. Well, this goes somewhere. Not really, not really sure what's up with the name of this game. Total Chaos doesn't really say... Ooh, pastrami. Doesn't really speak horror game, does it? Temporary turns on audio. Temporarily? Why temporarily? Not sure what's happening, but let's just break stuff and get... I think there's, uh, hold on a minute. Yeah, there's, uh, something there. I don't know what it is. I believe there's an invisible enemy. I believe it can, uh, we will see if it likes sledgehammers. It can is this killable? I can't quite tell. Can't kill it, you can't see it. It can really tear you. So it doesn't follow me and murder me? My attitude at this point is everything needs a sledgehammer to the face. But fair enough. Is there one or t multiple? I'm gonna I'm gonna I did notice something very important though at the end, so I kinda wanna I wanna figure this out. So, I can't really tell, but I guess, I mean, okay, here's the thing. Did you notice that when I was, it was clearly above me at one point, but still hurt me, so it must have a ranged attack, right? It's not the only pistol, but it is a pistol, and I would like it. I would like it, and also, even if there's multiple pistols, bet I can get some ammo there as well, which would be useful in any pistol. So... 
Let's figure this out. It's still an entity, so that means I can still, like, lead it somewhere, right? Just draw me. Is it here as well? It broke something. I heard it break something. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do some clever juking, basically. We can we can actually know where it is because if it rolls over a crate it breaks it. We actually saw it do that a few times. That's not just a spooky animation, that's indicating where it is. As for it hitting me when I'm not even near it, I think that's it just having like a bit of a radius. So like it's up there, but it can still hit me down here if I'm close enough to it. And whether or not I'm close enough to it to get hurt depends on the sound. See, it's right there. Now, the question is, can it, like, float on down over here? I think it's stuck up there. I'll leave it over here, but it'll come down, though. I'm leaving those boxes intact so I know when it comes down. There you go. Come on, get to the stairs. I know you can get to them. Well, I assume you can. I mean, yeah, uh, invisible and invulnerable enemies that can hit you from a large radius away, and you can't tell where they are. I agree. Bad design, but also kind of what I expect out of this game at this point, let's be honest. So it seems to stay in the upper area. I suppose I can use that to my advantage. I'm actually giving it every opportunity to demonstrate. I mean, I don't mind it breaking stuff. That's fine. Hmm. You know what I'm going to do real fast? Hold on. These rashes take up a lot of weight. I'm going to try to consume one real fast. Let's see. What, what, what lowers hunger but increases health? Or raises hunger but increases health? Is there something that does that? No. Okay. Oh, here we go. Increases hunger, causes bleeding. I only have... Well, actually, no, I have a whole bunch of bandages now. And I can make more, technically. Wait a minute. Bandages. No weight. Wait, no weight for bandages? Ooh, that's actually really good to know. Alright, let me, uh, let me up my... That, and then... I'll worry about the... The bleeding's not really a big deal, actually. Let it, let it peter out. There we go. Okay. If you use one stim pack, you don't actually bleed and lose health. You just bleed enough to bleed, but you don't lose health over it. Um, Alright, now that I've done that, consume giant ration. And then since I just noticed this, bandages are free. They, they don't cost weight. So you know what I'm going to do? What's weird is this is not a listed recipe. But I would like a few extra bandages. Those will come in handy. 
Whoa! I made a lot of bandages. What the hell? Okay, sure. Okay. We have 36 years left. Pretty good. Do you guys think I should order some food? Or do you think I should just eat it? I'm thinking, I'm thinking just eat in today. I don't know though, I feel lazy. I did promise my boyfriend a McFlurry, actually. I just remembered that. I should probably make do on that. Alright, so after I finish this section, I might order a McFlurry then. Vodka list of the recipe breaks do not. That seems oddly inconsistent. I don't know what the hell the ghost was doing, but that works. I'm gonna go back up there and see if there's anything else I should grab, but that was the main thing I noticed. Where, where is Mr. Ghosty right now? Not that I complain, mind you. I'm not complain. Well, I'm kind of worried, like, where the hell did it go, though? <laughs> Very rare weapon, use them wisely. Three bullets. That's it? Ooh, that was an apple that wasn't mushy. Ooh. Not mushy apples. Yum. Uh, wait, hold on. Can be come Wait, hold on. Wait, no, is that just an accidental highlight? That was just an accidental highlight. Never mind. Wait, I combined the rig of dirty water. What's that do? Well, it said I could. Oh, wait, hold on. Why are we still here? Why is it back? <laughs> Type of stare that stops hunger for 10 minutes. Purple increase smash. Oh, yeah. Definitely equip that. Max threshold. I'm guessing that's. I drank some water by accident. Yeah, whatever. Okay, I don't think Mr. Ghosty is as locked down as I thought he was. Because we're hearing him in a weird spot now. I'm gonna walk into him, aren't I? No, I'm not. Okay, I need to get out of the graveyard, so I need to go right. It's really hard to tell where the damn ghost is, but I... I need, I need to go up here, don't I? Mm. 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 Ow. That is correct, I need to go up there. But uh, I was also correct about it being right there. Let me just try rushing. Ah, fuck you. Wait. Are you... I am... Oh, oh, oh doggy! <laughs> One moment. <laughs> New area, turns out. Alright, doggy, come on. I assume you want to lunge, so I gotta time this. No, never mind, never mind, don't need to time it after all. Oh, it's like a... It's just a doggy. With like... An extra mouth on its back. Okay. Good. Right, anyways. Right, let's look at our inventory. Okay, we're practically full up again. Seriously, dude? Is that guy still coming for me? I can't tell. Right, so... Stop sucker 5. I don't... Yeah, sure. Let's eat that. 
That could be useful at any time, so. Um, let's get rid of... I don't know. <laughs> What's really heavy here? Not a whole lot. But I can craft some more rags uh, with the vodka. And we'll do that. There we go. Um... Flares are invaluable because there's definitely some dark areas where I can add otherwise. Maybe I should give her the alcohol? Maybe use as a crafting ingredient though. Okay, so it is useful for something. Wait, would they, can I also craft that with the frags? From our bandages. Oh. Oh, it's not using... Okay, so... It, I. Interesting. So I can, like, it keeps pulling it out of the combined items, but I actually can... It, oh, that's kind of annoying, actually. It keeps pulling, like, I'm constantly putting it back. Like, one rag, one alcohol... Craft and it pulls it out and then I pull it back in because I want to make more, you know. And the reason I want to make more is because this is actually a really um, good recipe because this makes the bandages are useful and they're no weight. There's no weight to the bandages, so I may as well just make a ton of them. Yes, I am probably getting rid of my ability to make maltals or something, but I don't give a shit at this point. Swap the meats as well. There we go. That's a lot better for the moment. Winter Maidens from Bloodborne reminds you of that. Wait a minute, I've heard that sound before. I have heard that sound in another game before, the sound that those guys make. That <laughs> sound. I can't really do it, but. <coughs> Maybe that wasn't originally a Doom. Was that a... No, that was originally a Doom sound. It was, uh. What 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 and what creature did that one? What demon did that one? Possibly an imp. <laughs> Bye. Peekaboo! Oh, we missed each other. How awkward. We we but we like clashed. Neither of us taking damage. Um. Sounds like Tiger trying to spook somebody. Maybe that should be an a maybe that should be a Tucker ask. Sounds that sounds cute. Or uh, um, you know. Oh hey there, doggos. There's two of you. That's kind of dangerous. You know, I have a sledgehammer where the game feels more manageable, I guess. I won't save as much. I got tons of medkits. I'll start using them. Worse AI. They don't have a lunge or a rage attack. Then why did the game start? Why didn't the game start by introducing the dogs that they kind of suck? That would have been the first. That would have been a great first enemy, I think. I'm gonna look over objects before I pick them up. Also, I would. Ugh, fine, I will not. I have my weapon ready to fight, and it's just a long staircase with nothing on it. That's why I charged before I turned the corner, though. <laughs> Blue block. Yeah, so far the dogs don't seem that dangerous. I, I, they might have a lunge. They might have a run. Uh, I have to backtrack, don't I? <laughs> I got... I got keys. I got... One key. Miller storage there. And I got blue block key, which is that one. And cool. I don't know where to use these. Also, what? Okay, sorting. When I hit sort, oh, there's multiple sorts. There we go. That's the that's category sort. That's more like it. 
Huh. It's weird that there's multiple sorts, but it doesn't tell you what... It, you, you, with multiple sorts, normally a game would be like, sort by category, sort by weight, sort by, you know... It would tell you, but it doesn't seem to do so here. Also, let's uh, take a quick look at this pistol. Kind of curious. So does it have ammo in it? I don't. The only way to find out is to shoot it. So hold on a second. Does it start with ammo? Didn't think so. Oh, there is a bar down there. It's it's kind of subtle. It's below my hand. All right, I see. I just wanted to make sure the damn thing was loaded. All right. Now that it is loaded. And now we do the very fun thing of me bumbling around for about 15 to 20 minutes while I figure out where this key is used. Is is probably the sad truth of things. Ah, this level design. Or let's just use right here. God damn it. I, I was hopeful. Oh shit, what the? That wasn't open before. Interesting. Cool, a, a, a Doom monster closet opened. <laughs> nice. Oh, wait, it's moving fast. Would you stop? Apparently not. Apparently not until it comes over and tries to kill me. Wood! You know, I don't need this much wood glue. So I will not grab that. Well, thanks for driving wood glue, I guess? But yeah, this was not open before. <laughs> that's that's kind of mean. Please say it's this door. Motherfucker! All right, fine. Uh, go back towards the ghost too. Oh, Puppos, for some reason. Puppos, do you have anything besides walking slowly at me that you do? Okay, you can lunch. Though, you still missed. Even though I didn't dodge or anything. Alright. Yeah, these dogs would have been a better first enemy. No. Stop. It just sounds like... It just sounds like this ghost is activating... A, is activating, like, a, a welding... Or a buzzsaw to, like, cut some wood. No, don't cut any wood. Don't do it. I'm expecting enemies now. Yeah, honestly, it wouldn't be surprising. There's literally a, there's like a, an auto slash craft shop not too far away from my uh, apartment. And sometimes I hear wood being cut and stuff and I'm like, okay, that's the same sound. <laughs> that's kind of awkward. There'd be a little, little nook there. Why is there a little nook there? Somebody didn't, well, th no, obviously somebody didn't plan the development of this building out very, is this a building? What is this? I don't even really understand where we're at. It's a concrete mess. Mining colony, right. So I do have a map. But unfortunately, it doesn't tell me where I'm on the map. So... I have two maps, in fact. Which makes it even more fun, because then I have to figure out which map I'm actually on. Hmm. Miller's storage would be nice to go to. It's next to the church. If we see what place that looks like a church, I should try to find that. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is really helpful. I have no idea what... I don't know how to read these maps. I, I can't read... I don't even know which area I'm in, so... Uh, Alright. Time for the casual strategy of always taking right turns until I get somewhere new. Oh, the storage room was in the spider area, so I've already used that key. It's weird that it didn't get consumed then. I still have it. Oh, 
I wonder if enemies respawn. I guess we'll find out. Wait, you're right, the second map has a label for hole. I know that this area has a hole. So I guess we're on the hole map. I think we need to go to the utility tunnels, I think. So if we find hole, utility tunnels is not far away from the hole, technically. But is that like at the bottom of the hole or the top of the hole? Oh god, you can't even tell. Damn it. But yeah, I, um, hmm, I don't know, man. You know, at least throw me a bone and have the map indicate my position on it. That'd be nice, right? I guess it's too world-breaking for the developers since it's like a real map and it shouldn't be displaying. How did I do a loop? How in the fuck did I do a loop? I didn't know you could loop here. Okay, I'm gonna have the left wall then. Because apparently right lets you loop. Well, actually, now that I know there's a loop, I guess I could try to confirm where the loop is. I, I don't know, actually. I can't see a loop here. At least not a loop that took that short a period of time to get through. We're in garbage, almost certain about that. But there's no, like, landmarks in this game. So it's not like any, like, oh, that's a set piece. I'm back at the set piece. Now I can study that. You know, there's none of that. Oh, no. I just had another realization. Guys. Guys. If I have a key, the door just opens. It doesn't say you unlock the door. At least I don't think it does. So if I open a door and I can just go through it, then I won't know if that's a new door or an old door. Oh boy. <laughs> Surface access? Oh, blue block! Oh my god, I was I just kinda bumbled into it. I mean yeah, there's it says blue block there, but holy shit. Stop. Why? You can get a, you can get a shit gun, a shit gun, or a shotgun. <laughs> you, you abbreviated it. Um, sure. Where is it? The lost soul. Oh, that's right. It was the lost soul scream. Well, okay. I'm at the blue block axis. So where is that on the map? Um, you'd think that would be marked somewhere. You think blue block could be on the map somewhere? Oh wait, to surface, right? This must be where I'm at right now, actually. Then, so if I just turn around and go straight, I should get to the storage. Okay, that's surprisingly simple. Once you actually figure out what you're fucking doing. Ah, oh, yeah, Jared. J Jahid H. Miller. Or Jared? Jared. I don't know who this Miller guy is, but he's probably he seems pretty important since he owns his own storage and all. Huh. What the hell is that? Alright, I'm gonna go just picking up random shit. I have no idea who these bottles are. 
Let's see. Did that consume the key? Yeah, they did. Both of my keys are consumed. Okay, so keys do get consumed when they're used. All right. So let's see. I have multiple compounds now, which I can combine with multiple syringes. What are they, I wonder what these all do. These are steroids. A limited stat of 30 seconds increases hunger, lowers health. Okay. So I got a bunch of compounds. I don't have enough syringes, though, so please give me a moment as I stab myself repeatedly. Wait, that doesn't empty the syringe. How do you empty the syringe? Wait, are you serious? Oh, it's a stim pack, so it's not a syringe, even though it is a syringe? Oh, okay. So syringes are rare. Gotta find clean ones. Oh, come on. I'm eating rotten apples. What do I give a shit about how clean it is? <laughs> Alright, so I guess saved. We'll test each compound and see if they do. We already know what green does. It's a miracle drug, which I'm okay that I made one of those. That could be useful. Um, I think that's the same compound, right? Compound MK1. I believe that's the miracle drug. Oh, wait, it will tell me the result before I actually make it. Small morphine injection increases user's health. Like, permanently? Or... I don't know, just kind of weird to make up, to work together, to, I don't know. Heals probably, just to heal. Alright, well that sounds kind of boring. What else we got? Energy boost, stamina boost, okay. These are less exciting than I thought they would be. Uh, reduce hunger. Yes, I oftentimes, I, I oftentimes shoot myself up to get full, what? Okay, so we got... These aren't very interesting. Maybe I should just hold on to the syringes for the miracle drug. Like I made last time. Because that seems like the one you want. So... Can you combine chems? Uh... No. Unless, give me a thought. You gave me a thought with saying that. Um, maybe if I grab the radiation one, I can combine all four together into a miracle drug. I need some bread. Sounds a bit hard, but yeah. Empty bottle. And the bricks. Goodbye. I'm being efficient. Thinking about my weights. Ah, uh, you know what? The truth is, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like weight systems and like limited weight systems in games because I'm like, ah, oh, no, come on, man, gotta load on the pounds. What? Not a blubbery mound? Or penalize me for that being that? Come on. <laughs> Does it give you all the crass crass recipe? Maybe use a syringe. Oh. Wait, actually speaking of syringes, what the hell is this? Adrenaline. Okay. Got a lot of random little things. So you're suggesting Oh. What? Wait, I do have three colors. Wait, wait, I only tested... Only tested... I only had tested three colors, but I have four. What's the fourth one? That's the radiation one. Okay, so I do have all four. Radiation, hunger, health, and... What was the last one? Stamina? 
They can't be combined, though. Huh. How odd. Weight system refinement, weight and maximum storage space as well, not so much. I, I guess... Honestly, I'm fine with the, the inventory window size, but... God, I'm still in just chapter two. Let, Letta, why are you leaving? You didn't say anything was wrong. Everything was going perfectly. You can't just pack up and leave here without any explanation. I feel after everything we've been through, this is a stab in the back. I love you. Does that not mean anything? Why can't I be normal? Fucking useless. Can I keep... Keep what? Ha. Huh. Well, I think I know why she dumped you, dude. Um, so I think, uh... I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. I need, I need a moment. I need a, I need to chill out for a minute and also address a thing with my boyfriend, so... Well, not really address, just talk to him about something. Um... Hmm. I'd pause while you do this. Yeah, it probably is wise. Yeah, hunger and all. Stupid hunger. Well, yeah, I'm going to take a bit of a break. I'll be back in about, oh, let's say 15 minutes. And then we'll continue. <laughs> 